Where, where, what, what, like scenarios would you give the death penalty? Uh, pedophilia. And? Yeah, I think we all agreed on that. Oh, <laughs> 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 now. Yes, people, welcome to a brand new episode of Titan Talk. It's your co host, Kyojin. It's your boy, AB. We got uh, ads. Yes, sir. I'm here. I'm back. And, as usual. And landlord. <laughs> say, say sorry, bro. <laughs> I lie. For those listening on the audio, he, just, he's, he said shush. Uh, cool. How, how is everyone? I'm good, tired, man. Good, man. Good, good, good. Bro, I stayed I stayed away to watch the uh, UFC last night. Bro, I'm tired, fam. I need to catch up on sleep. You know, did like you this... um, did you illegally stream it? No, nah, because Dana was going yeah. on the stream. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Dana was doing outside my house. <laughs> Apparently, he caught one you though. Yeah, yeah. Apparently, yeah, nah, the guy. Yeah, he, 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 he um, released a statement. He a statement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so funny, man. I think Dana was bluffing though. Nah, no, you see on the thing, there's like there's, there was like a Chinese, there was like a Chinese code like going like on the screen. And apparently mm. that was it. That was like so they find out where you are now. All right. What the hell? How you guys oh, yeah. been enjoying the snow? Nah. I, I feel like not really, man. I'm not gonna lie, I don't, I don't sound like a grumpy old man, yeah. But snow as an adult is is it's so shit. No, yeah. I want to have a snow fight. Yeah, but who's got the time now? It's not like you can come out and everything. Yeah, you know it's true. I mean? It's true. Yeah. Yeah. And also, I, you I was... Yeah, go on. I was going to say, I was working, innit? And, like, obviously, I started driving this year. I told you guys earlier, innit? I was shook to driving the snow. Yeah. Because <laughs> when I left my house, it was it was clear. And then, obviously, driving home. <laughs> what time did he start, bro? Uh, nine. It wasn't snowing at nine? Nah, it started snowing, like, maybe 9, 30, 10. Oh, oh shit. Nah. Yeah. we we sleeping too late to realize when it's snowing, bro. I woke up to the snow. <laughs> I like bro, it. This this past week here, yeah, a bit like I can't sleep before like five o'clock. I don't know what's going on. Like I will fall asleep at five a.m. in the morning. I I saw something interesting. I don't know. Like on the internet, yeah, there was this girl saying there's something called like revenge sleep syndrome or something. Have you guys heard of that? No. Uh, basically, it's like if if you like don't have like a fulfilling day, yeah. Like you refuse to go to sleep early, like you stay up later and later, just so you can feel like you've done something in your day, because you feel like you missed out on time during the day. You have to get that. No, it sounds it sounds interesting. Yeah, but I, I feel uh, like that happens to me, man. Like if I have a sh- like a if I don't do anything all day, I can't go to sleep in, until I've like done something. Do you know what I mean with my life? That's yeah. all my life. I, I, to be honest, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like I stay up quite late, like just for no reason. Yeah. Like, and it's not. I, I don't know if it's because I haven't done anything that day. This, but, this, this guy's getting into like some three AM convos. Very, like, very self-destructive, isn't it? It's not good. Yeah, he he been trying to at three AM, fam. Bro, I can show you my phone. This is dry. <laughs> it's dry, dry. <laughs> you know, you know. Yes, I can show you my phone. <laughs> Yeah, yesterday I was so tired that I was planning to sleep during the day. Yeah. And I feel like this is like the opposite of that. But like, do you guys get this thing where you can't sleep during the day because you feel like you're going to miss out on things? Like, I can't take yeah, a nap to be honest, during the day. I never plan naps in it. Like, if I fall asleep, I fall asleep. But I can't plan a nap. Yeah, I, I don't think it works. I plan I plan them after work, but I, I never do it. I can't commit to it. Do you mm. know what I mean? You got commitment like issues. Work. That's 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 a, for a whole nother episode. From I have big commitment <laughs> issues. Is it? Is it? What you say? You do? Yeah. Oh that's, wait, let I'm, me see that rollie though. It's not a rollie. It's a sentimental watch in it from uh, see, my grandma's. Uh, can, I have it? can you have it? That, that watch is looking all right, you know. <laughs> listen, listen to your question again. I, I said it's something sentimental, and you said, "Can I have it?" <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Yeah. That's a nice watch, man. Thank you. You know, speaking nice of. Size. <laughs> Speaking of how we've been, yeah, AB, how did you had like so AB, how did you find editing the last episode? And 
Adam, how did you find listening to the episode? I'll let AB talk first, innit? Oh, wait, my <laughs> internet's gonna cut out. <laughs> wait, is it actually or was that an excuse? No, 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 it actually is. <laughs> oh shit. All right, Adam, you put you might as well go first. <laughs> um I don't know, like obviously with us we listen to it like three or four like maybe two uh, probably two or three times before it goes out what i do anyway like Mm. obviously you send me the first draft and that and then i don't know like you know before it went out obviously we're talking about some a couple of things that are a bit controversial um before it went out like even in the group chat i was saying oh i don't know like how it's going to be received like like i feel like we're going to get quite a bit of backlash and that we're gonna have have a look at that in in like yeah yeah, yeah, (laughs) i I don't know what's coming (laughs) obviously after listening to it like and yeah i think yeah, I, I thought it was all right like i don't think we said anything like too crazy um Bro, and obviously I stand by, that I'm mad, fam. yeah that's something i stand by everything that i said so me too yeah i think i think it was i think it was all right what about you what about you ab how did you find editing it you know what yeah i actually thought editing it will be a lot harder than it was mm. but it was actually all right man i just had to take our like the usual I think, shit, like I think it was more boring parts than anything controversial on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah there was like yeah. one controversial. There was not one con- controversial. There was one like boring fifteen-minute part where we were just talking about holidays again. <laughs> oh yeah, and lockdown and that, isn't it? Yeah, I think I'm not gonna lie. This episode was probably <clears throat> my bottom five least enjoyable to edit. Not gonna lie. Was it too much for you? Not because it was bad yet, but should I tell you what it was? While I was editing it, I was listening to arguments. And I was thinking, yo, <laughs> Adam said something dumb there. And if I picked up on Bro, it, I trust, could have, I yeah, could have yeah, yeah, yeah. Like pushed, I pushed along with that point and actually come up with a proper example. I was like, I was, yeah. I was listening to myself thinking, Kyojin, you got too emotional in this debate. You could have said so <laughs> many points and remembered so many, like your argument could have been so well-rounded. And you know, you know them things where you go home and you yeah. think, I could have said this, I could have said that. Bro, I had exactly the same thing, you know. That Yeah, I, 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 I don't know why I didn't mention that before. But yeah, like I would listen to my arguments and, and think, oh, no, nah, you could have said this different. You could have said that. Like even, yeah. even in the group chat, I was like, oh, you know, I started yeah. bringing up other stuff as well. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> and there was, there was some examples, yeah, where I was thinking like, oh, that was a dumb example. You could have given an even better example that actually made sense in that case. So yeah, it was... It Wait, was hold on. So are we going to argue again? Nah, uh, we'll, we'll have a look through the ticks <laughs> at the end. And also, people have been DMing me saying, like, can I tag team in the rematch if there's a rematch? Who said that? Someone said, has, if AB, it, someone said, if AB gets too lippy on. again, tag me in. Who, no, no, no. Oh, Who's that? No, no, bring him in. Bring him <laughs> yeah. in. Next episode, listen, if you're, if, you're re- if you're watching this next episode, please come in, yeah? Trust <laughs> me. I will have a hot, I'll have an F64 ready for you. Know, you, you know what the <laughs> other worst thing is, yeah? When I was listening back to it, yeah? I realized AB was arguing against me so much, yeah? Then I listened to his point, yeah? This guy was arguing against me, but agreeing with bare of my points. No, I agree with, like, one of your shit. There was, there was three arguments in it. There was the, the death penalty one, to which he didn't agree with me in it. Like, there was no... The, he, he believed that there should be a death penalty for some cases in it, and I said mm-hmm. no. And then there was the, um, the conservatism, like, conservatism one. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And he was saying, like, people can receive conservatism in different ways. Like he was kind of neutral. I think you two one. agreed on that. I yeah, yeah, you two yeah. agreed on that. Yeah, and then in the cultural appropriation one, yeah, I was saying there is cultural appropriation, and he said, yeah, within, within, like a corporate sense. But my argument yeah. wasn't within the parameters, isn't it? It's just whether it, it, it exists or not, or if it is an issue or not. Do you know what I mean, not situational. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was probably like bottom five least enjoyable. But I'm not gonna like. I don't know if you find this AB, but like every episode you edit, yeah, I feel like even it, no matter how enjoyable it is. They get more and more satisfying every week, cause you. F- like, I f- personally, I feel like to myself, like every week I get better at it. So I'm like, damn, I'm quite good at this. What? And at the end of editing it, or better at actually making a podcast? Editing, ed- editing. <clears throat> the the the, po- yeah. the episodes, the episodes as well. But that's more to do with content, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, with no, the editing is like you just feel good about it. I have a, I have a good about it as well, man. But it's just, ugh, it's just, it's just so time consuming. It's so like when I edit, yeah. When I sit down to edit. Like, I don't like to leave, like, things. Because if I edit over two days, it would be calm, in it? But I don't like to leave things, like, halfway through and then continue it another day. Yeah. So I just edit the whole day, fam. Like, literally, if I sit down at 12, to start editing, I won't finish till 9. Yeah. And you get in that zone as well, isn't it? Yeah, bro. But like, I'm just literally, like, I just sit I just sit at my desk and I just start editing. And I just, I just, I just don't stop, fam. Yeah, man. No, it's, it's, it's weird, isn't it? And the other thing is, like, 
the annoying thing is that so say for example the clip that we uploaded yesterday yeah that small 48 second clip took me like three hours to edit because i have to like first like send it from my laptop to my thing also like crop um 48 seconds worth of material from a whole two hours clip that but, was a sick clip though i really yeah, like that yeah, but yeah, even that when i looked really at good. it yeah there was, there was things where like it was a bit rough around the edges in it but i thought yeah. to myself it took me three hours to like am i gonna really go back and re-edit any of this i'm like bro i don't care like, have it do you know, take it okay, <laughs> okay. Now, now imagine now imagine a two and a half hour clip fam i'm gonna do it for the audio yeah. but yeah no, i know what you mean i know what you mean it's p man but yeah no it's good man as long as people are liking it getting people involved yeah it was good to see the the engagement this week as well yeah the questions and the polls speaking of um well out of the week here uh maybe your trim is looking a bit too fresh in my opinion (laughs) i've done it myself yeah i've done it myself you sure (laughs) yeah i could teach you i had like four mirrors set up fam (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> okay that's that's the end of one well, out of the week make your own assumptions guys i don't know myself but i know this fit i know you see this fade though uh anyway av what's the what's the topic this week uh so this week yeah we're having a little light-hearted one um this week it's like a it's um what should you call it uh, how old well do you know ab quiz yeah this kind of that's kind of narcissistic you know you made a whole episode around how well we know you I wouldn't even boys like that, bro. Can I can I boot this you? I can't, <laughs> I can't, I can't even boot, fam. You're a fuck here, Jin, anyway. Uh, I'm joking. <clears throat> D- Listen, don't get excited. You man are up next as well, you know. Like in future episodes. I'm very private. Mm. No one knows anything about me. Nah, I'm down for that. I think I think that'll be quite, quite yeah. fun. Yeah, man. I, I got some fun questions for you, man, fam. But yeah, I got 13 thing, 13 questions. And obviously pass rate is uh nine or seventy percent. But ads ads I could give him I'll say seven. So I get a so, handicap. <laughs> I think seven's all right. One sec. Spill my pot noodles. <laughs> For landlord and Kilgin, the pass rate No, but landlord knows you better than me, man. Like, Bro, I've, I've known you guys both the same amount of times. No, you didn't. You met him like one hour before me. <laughs> so the pass rate for you guys is 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 so it's so generic. Like it's calm. Like uh, how about this year? For landlord what? it's nine. For me it's eight, and for nah. ads it's a seven. Yeah. No, no, no. But that's fair. No, it's not. It's not fair. How's that not fair? When you when you when you guys like hear the questions, you you would know why like it's quite high because it's like it's dumb shit. We're gonna get like three, you know. If you guys get free, yeah, I'm I'm cutting you. <laughs> yeah, so the pass rate is nine for landlord and Kilgin. And for ads, I'll say I think seven was fair. Yeah, seven, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Okay. Calm. So you guys ready, yeah? So <laughs> okay, cool. So so you man got 30 seconds, yeah? Each question, yeah. Each question and then type in your answer. And uh Type your get your thing ready on the group chat, and then don't yeah. don't, and then press don't, don't send it. it. Don't send it, and we do like a three, two, one. Then send. Do you know what I'm saying? Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right, you know the way you say "do you know what I'm saying" is so funny. You know? Why? You say "do you know what I'm saying." Shut up, man. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, you're on to me, fam. Now, can I get extra point for noticing that though? But you can suck this mushroom tip. Whoa. whoa, whoa. <laughs> uh, are, you, are you guys ready? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, cool. First question, yeah. Lano, Lano's Lano is pretending to lag. <laughs> <laughs> this brother fell asleep. Oh no! I thought you were sitting up to sleep. <laughs> he's in concentration mode, man. <laughs> yeah, I like that. You, 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 you man, all should be concentrated right now. Yeah, uh, nice I already know I'm gonna lose. I right, go, nice, go, go, go. nice and easy, yeah. When is my birthday? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, do, we, do, we, do we need all, all, all three, like the year as well? No, 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 not the year. It's okay. peak. I think I've got it wrong, isn't it? No. My answer's right. ready. I 100% got it right. If you guys listen to the previous podcast, you should know this answer. Yeah. What? We, we've mentioned it in a previous podcast. I'm not going to lie. There was a whole story and everything. Date of birth. Yeah. No, not my date of birth, just my birthday. <laughs> Oh wait, so you don't you don't want us to put the year in it, yeah? 
No, no, no. All right, let me delete the. Uh, you right, can cool. put it if you want, but you won't get extra points. Okay, I'm gonna put it because that's dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I just said, fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. You know yeah. what, yeah? This is for everybody. I don't remember anyone's birthday. That's a stinker, fam. Man <laughs> said, fuck no. Gee, you come to her birthday every year, fam. Yeah, I know, but I, I don't remember when I came. That's a stinker. Not, dates, even, not, even, not even the fucking month, fam. Bro, I'm so bad with dates, honestly. You're a stinker. Get out of here. Don't worry. Man. It's not a personal thing. It's with everybody. No, no, no. It is. I'm taking the per- t- no, it I'm is a, it is a personal thing. It is I'm a taking thing. personal yeah, yeah, so Ad said, fuck knows. KOG and Nando <laughs> said 6th of Feb, which is correct. So there's one point for you, man. Yeah. Well done. Must have a pat on the back. Easy. Nice and easy. Uh, if that was the easiest one, then I'm screwed. I only know that because of that story. What story? You know the story, fam. I can't say. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god uh, <laughs> I wish you could say the story though <laughs> If, there, if uh, there's a way to edit it out Edit it in I was like I don't know like... Alright cool <laughs> Next Next question here yeah? What is my favourite colour? What the fuck? What? It's gonna be a, a stab in the dark to be honest. How do people know this shit? There's two questions yet. Actually, no, no, let me not say nothing. I just, I just let it roll out. How do you... Um, Lano, do you not, do you like, are you, for, do you, do you actually know the answer? I've, I've never, I've, I can't, I don't think I've openly said, oh, guys, this is my favourite colour, you know. But well, you, you think we're in primary school asking each other, what's your favourite colour? I couldn't think of any other questions, man. I'm not an inter- interesting guy, fam. Yeah, I'm just taking the guess, though. It's it's a yeah. generic. It's not it's not like fucking one of them exquisite ones like, like turquoise. magnolia or some shit. Like it's just it's very <laughs> magnolia, <laughs> magenta, <laughs> exquisite. That's like that's close to white. <laughs> uh, <laughs> should I take a risk? I don't know. Yeah, I I feel like I, 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 have, I have a I have a safe option and I have a risky option. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say this and I'll say why after. All right, I'm gonna go with the risky option. Yeah. Go, no. go, go, go with what you feel like it is and then say the other option after, after you send me your answer. Okay. Okay, I'll go with the safe option. I'll play it safe. Are you ready, yeah? Are you guys ready, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, like, I'm assuming you made the logo. Yeah. So you chose purple. No. So no I just no. went off that. But I was, my other color, you know, I said I have two colors, yeah? yeah. My other one was red. Because um, I feel I, like I've I, seen you in a lot of red outfits. <clears throat> It's yeah, actually man. it's actually black, yeah. Ah, oh, yes. yes. But I'll give half a point for red because it used to be red. <laughs> yeah, I still don't This guy, this guy woke up one morning, yeah, and he was like, you know what? Let me change my favorite color to black. So I'm moving on to the next one. Wait, so, wait, so what was it? Yeah. It was red before. It was but black then, now. but then I just thought, you know what, fam? I think I like I'm black more. You know, I'm glad I played it safe. You know, do you know what was my, my risky one? What was it? Purple. Because I was looking at the logo thinking maybe Because of the logo he, yeah. yeah like he, Nah I just picked logo I just picked logo I, I just picked fucking purple Because it just looked hard didn't it Yeah So I thought maybe like, like he fucked purple's purple's my favorite like. color. Sorry Purple's my favourite colour I think I'm writing that down for the next one I lie Oh shit yeah I shouldn't have said that <laughs> I'm going to change it <laughs> <laughs> uh, So I, I'm, in the, I'm in the lead yeah Same man Yeah so, so how many points are you man on I've got two I just, just don't even speak One minute <laughs> Huh? 1.5. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 1.5. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot you got that. Yeah, 1.5. And okay. you got two in it? Yeah. Ah, yeah. Cool. Right. Ah, cool. This one, everyone should get right here. Yeah? At what age did I join KHS? Think, remember, we had, a in, we had a whole episode about me joining KHS. Well, like a lot, like a lot of the thing. What month did you join, though? That's the thing. No, nah, that's, that's cheating. I know which two it is, but I don't know which one of the two. Okay, look, so think of it like this, yeah? So you, obviously yeah. there's two there's two ages in it, yeah? Yeah, yeah. So think about the time, I like, f- remember, just think about the first time you saw me, uh, what, around what year you think it was. But I don't, I don't remember, like, was it before February or after February? That's the only thing. Oh, sh- <laughs> Fucking <No>. 15! <laughs> you're G, you're, oh my days. Was it 14? Was it, 14? No. it was 14. Yes. I was oh, just thinking like February, February seems too late for you to come in the I year. Joined, I joined early year 10. I like, thought it was year 11, man. No, no, no. 
G, if you rem- G, in the last episode, you said I joined when you were in the other block. Yeah, Remember? And your name. Yeah, I, I'm having a mare. You actually are, you know. Yeah. I, I'm doing better than I thought I would. <laughs> So it's all right, yeah, yeah, it's all right, though. I might, I might have to change the fucking thing, bro. The pass, the pass mark, fam. Oh, right, cool. Next one, yeah. What is mm-hmm. my favorite movie? And disclaimer, disclaimer, yeah. Mm. I got it. I was gonna say three, yeah, but uh, there's two movies that you could choose from. Okay, I got it. If you get either or, I'll give the point in it. But there's two. I'm being, I'm actually so generous, but God, because fucking art. I don't expect Adam to get this actually. Nah, yeah, I, I probably won't get it. Yeah. Do you know the worst thing is we've also referenced the movie I'm thinking of. We've referenced it in yeah. like two podcasts as well. I feel so, like I'm thinking of that yeah. one. Actually, I, 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 let me not say anything. So are you based, ready? Yeah. based off what you yeah. said, I don't, I don't know if you got it. If I'm... Uh, okay. Are you man ready? Yeah. yeah. Uh, shit, those are very different. <laughs> uh. Wait, we all put three different movies. Don't say anything yet. Let's go through them because these are three very different movies. Go on, go, go on. You can go, go for it. I said Friday. Yeah. I say War of the Planet of the Apes. That's the one where Caesar was on the horse with yeah. the guns, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And Lando said, "Dark Knight." Yeah. I feel like Dark Knight is everyone's like generic answer when you ask them what's their favorite movie. Dark Knight was one of the f- two. Uh, Wait, don't don't tell me Friday wasn't. It wasn't. <gasps> what? Yeah. It wasn't. Nah, you're lying, fam. It wasn't. Dark- Friday is not one of your favorite movies. It's not. Friday is not. It's this Dark guy has Knight. been. No, no, it's no, Dark no, no. This is no, no. I, I, okay, God. We're, we're gonna have a re- We're gonna have a, another argument, yeah. Because this guy, <laughs> you know, how many years this guy was trying to get me to watch Friday. Every time I'm like, oh, I watch Friday. It's amazing. It's the best comedy movie ever. It's so funny. It's so funny. It's so funny. I never yeah. said it's the best comedy movie ever. Yeah, you did. Oh no, my! No. The days. best comedy movie, in my opinion, the best comedy movie in my opinion is probably Harold and, Harold and Kumar. You have never spoken about Harold and Kumar to me, bro. I just said it now. I know. <laughs> and the other one, so it was. After it was you came dark into Chase at the age of fourteen, and you, it was, all those years you never mentioned it. It was either it was either Dark Knight or American Gangster. Those, yeah, those, I would never have guessed that. Those, those were the two. No, I've, I've really spoke, I was spoken about American Gangster, and one I would have given is Paid in Full. That's one I would have allowed. If someone said Paid in Full, I've spoke not, about all three of these movies bare. Not especially Friday. Paid in Full, especially Paid in Full and uh, American Gangster, and Dark Knight well, as well. The worst thing is, yeah, you know, before I was putting my answer in, yeah, I, me and you were saying, I was saying we referenced in a in a in in podcast episodes <laughs> before, and you were like, yeah, 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 and it's, I was thinking about the time like, you know this, man. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 bro, bro, bro I, I can't Stinker. like. It's alright though, but it's only one I, question. I feel betrayed, no, because I'm, I'm one I'm, question. Been... This is fuck you. How, how many questions for me? No, no, listen, you're 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 finished. You're finished. <laughs> forget forget about it. Forget about it. So well, what was your last uh, thing? I got three, I got three points because apparently Friday is not your favorite movie. Anymore. It's not. It's not. What do you mean apparently? I just I just told you it's not. So I'm, I'm gonna walk out again. <laughs> my pass mark was seven, right? Yeah, seven. Yeah. Yeah, I've already failed. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what, you, Nando, what do you mean? Yeah, what are you on? Oh no, I haven't. There's, there's yeah. Three, three, three. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm on three and a half. Three and a half. That's not. That's not bad, fam. Alright, uh, cool. It's next one. Yeah, this the, the these next two questions uh, are is 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 a bit peak. I'm sorry, but what is the name of my fish? What color that's, is it? That's also been referenced it's, in another episode. It has is uh is that blue, blue and red? Have I not? I, I say I showed you. I showed you my fish. Nah. What what brand of fish is it? That's actually the next question. Oh okay. He is peak because I went. I, I don't went know what fucking fish, fish and I still don't know. You don't know. <laughs> See, oh, I was being nice to you, nice to you on this one, you know. Blue and red, yeah. Blue and red, yeah. Oh, sh- it's fucking Spider Man. <laughs> blue and red, isn't it? <laughs> oh shit! Cajun actually got it right. So uh, kill him on shit. You did. You did mention it before. Yeah, his yeah. some of my fish. His name is Zeus, and here's a picture of him now. It's my brother. And uh, so now, what is the breed of Zeus? Got it right. Red right. and blue fish. I'm gonna Google what's red and blue. What fish are red and blue? Nah, don't do that, man. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, I'm Bengali. I don't know the names. I just eat them, fam. <laughs> Listen. That's why you got this question right, I like. Yeah. Oh, bro, I don't know what fish there are. Landlord, if you don't get this, you're having a stinker, fam. Man was with me when I bought it. Like, I know half of it, so I might get half a point. Is it expensive? 
it is relatively expensive, yeah. All right. And if you didn't choose this fish, I'm disappointed because this fish looks sick. I didn't even know fish had breed like that. <laughs> it's very specific. We feel the like. I'm ready. ready. I'll right, go in three, two, one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh shit. Oh, you might right. got it right, you know. Yeah. Wait. Yeah, you might got it. So it's how, a Siamese how, fighting fish. How do you kill Oh my god. No, but it's, nah. it's called baited fish as well, isn't it? Oh, Come right. on, man. Is that Come yeah? Oh, I can't, can't see. Put it in front of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that, yeah. Is that, is that, yeah. Man, that's sick. Not, not exactly it, like that, bro. It, it didn't, it didn't look that nice in in your house. <laughs> no, check no, it's, not <laughs> it's not exactly like that. I check it, check it. That's hard. It's hard, bro. Bro, bro. Imagine, see, if I put another set like the same breed in, into this fish tank. Yeah, they'll both beef each other till one of them dies, man. That's what's called fighting fish, isn't it? Bro, it's sick, fam. I have to call my brother Zeus, fam. It's quite cool. What? So what? So you can only have one at a time. I can only have one in the tank, yeah. Damn. All right, next question. You guys ready for the next question? That's why six yeah. of them died. <laughs> <laughs> uh... <laughs> you guys ready for the next next one? Yeah, mm-hmm. no. uh, cool. Wait. What, what? Okay, no. <laughs> you put spider man this <laughs> <laughs> I just realized. <laughs> That's because there's a red and blue thing in it. Yeah. <laughs> When you when you were say when you were saying the colours, yeah, and then you were like, okay, cool. I was thinking it has nothing to do with the colours. <laughs> <laughs> nah, go on, go on. What is my favorite childhood? What was my favorite childhood uh, TV show? We referenced this, this for another, me, you know. We referenced this another in another episode as well. A lot. Uh, let me see. There's one that I could think of that I know 100, percent but I don't know. We might have an other in another episode. But is is there more than one option here, or is it just one option? No, there's only one. Sam, I don't know childhood TV shows. You know, I never had a TV. But is is it is it a childhood it's, show though? It's not a it's not a, like a cartoon. It's not a kids show, right? It's not a kids show. Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Well, if I got it wrong, then. Look, no. two, I, have, I have two <laughs> options though. I have two options. I don't know which one I'm going with. Oh, okay. I think I got it. Is it? Is it? Uh, I have one more question here. Is it something that you wouldn't watch today for a specific reason? No, I'll still watch it. You'll still watch it. Yeah. It's not Friends. I know it's not Friends. Yeah. Oh, bro. Stop giving, <laughs> stop giving clues. That's that's not part of the rules. But it goes for everyone, though, isn't it? Okay, okay. All right, we're, we're ready? Yeah. You guys ready? Yeah. 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 Oh, cool. Three, two, one. It's Fresh Prince. Yes. <laughs> Landlord Keenan and Kel. I've never spoken about Keenan and Kel in my life. No way. This guy, this, this guy just thought to himself, "What black comedy is there for kids?" <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, it's Fresh Prince. Do you know what I was going to go We with? didn't even speak about we didn't speak about Keenan and Kel in, in a in a previous episode. No, we didn't. I was I was going to say Chappelle show. That's why I asked, like, would you watch it today? Because you know, obviously Chappelle show. No, I I I didn't watch Chappelle. You I watched that like an adult, innit? I don't. Yeah, I, I didn't have the network when I was younger, man. But Fresh Prince. I was watching Fresh Prince, yeah, when it was on Channel Two, fam. After Simpsons, when Simpsons was on Channel Two, G, before they changed. Cha- then it was they on changed Channel into, Five, bro. No, then they changed into cha- then they changed into Channel Four. Next one is what is my first ever console, and then I'll allow two two answers. Bro, that, like you owned yourself, right? Sorry, you owned yourself. Well, none of this. I was, too, I, was none, too young, I was too young to to have money then. No, not no. As in, like, is yours complete? Not nothing like. Oh, it's your cousins. You went to go play on it. Oh no 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 no. no. But then there's two answers that so because there's one there's one that I know you guys will definitely not get. Okay. So if we get that one right, it's calm, yeah? Which one? As in the one that we'll definitely know. If you choose that one, it's calm, yeah? Yeah, it's evil. Ah, cool. Oh, then, if you get both, I'll give you two points, fam. Wait, what? If you get both? Fam, I won't get, He's I won't having get a stinker, both. G. Yeah, I Wait, so so can, we, can we put in both, then? No, nah, this doesn't apply to you guys. Okay. Uh, okay well, can you include, like, portable and hold ones? Yeah. That's, see, that's the, I, can't, I can't say that's too much information. I know which one it is, the other one. I think I know both of them, you know. 
You go, you go right both. Give both. So, but if I get one right, I still get the point, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I won't, I won't, I won't give you two points. What? No, nah, man, I can't give you two points, man. What? what I saw you on seven. Six. Six. So yeah, come on, man. All right. Uh, I think uh, I have seven. my answers. Landlord, you got your answer. Yeah. But it, it doesn't have to be two, two, two answers. Like, you, you, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But yeah, going three, two, one. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> so the two thing was. It was Game Boy and PS2. Uh, so Kyojin actually got both. Oh Lando, Lando got Game Boy. Oh, Wait, I got one. Oh, them, yeah, yeah. So you got you get a point. Yeah. Oh, cool. so I, yeah. I get two points here. Yeah. That adds no. You got one point. What, what, one and a half. One and a half. No, 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 no. One and a half. Sorry. To make up to make up for the thing where you Sorry. you convinced Bro. me all your life that Friday was your favorite movie. It's not Why my favorite you, movie. It's is. Why do you it's, need the extra point? You're in the lead already. I, I'm, exactly. I'm trying to make That's it. I'm saying. trying to make it past that nine mark in it. <laughs> nah, man. There's still bare. There's still like. There's still four questions, uh, five questions to go. Yeah, there's two questions that you guys should definitely get. I'm on seven. I need two more points. Yeah, that's calm. Wait, man. There's five questions left. Yeah. Uh, shit, I need four. <laughs> I think you guys will be all right, though. I, you know what? How the fuck did you wait? Landlord and Kyojin, yeah. How the fuck did you guys get, guess Game Boy fans? It's because we're the same age, it's the timeline works out in it, like. Yeah, but I remember first getting my fucking Game Boy fam. I was so happy, fam. Bro, you don't understand. I was gripping the fucking box, yeah. I bought it from Curry's. In, do you remember Al- the Alperton Curry's fam? Yeah. Bro, <laughs> I was walking down that long strip, G. I was literally hugging the, hugging the fucking Game Boy fam. Bro, I used to bang out so much. Next question. What is my shoe size? <sighs> This I is, should know this. this is I should know this. Bro, you know how many raffles I asked you to sign up yeah, for? Yeah, I know. I should, I should know this as well. You should know this. Because oh. you've, give, you've given me gifts. But, bro, it depends on the shoe, though. Okay, there's two Okay, two, two sizes, then. Because uh, it's, it's never below. What's the question? My shoe size. Shoe size. Damn it. We didn't, we didn't have Ramadan last year, so I didn't get you a gift. I'll go you a gift. And now I feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got it. Uh, how long do we have left? I don't know. At this point, it's just uh, up. It's, in, it's just two of you guys are ready, isn't it? I'm trying to remember, man. Okay. All right, I, I think I'm. I think don't I'm be ready. searching our chats, you know. No, 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 no. no. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> are you? Are you shaking your head? The wrong one. <laughs> Bro, no, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. One second. <laughs> I, I think we all know who's wrong, innit? <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. Oh, oh man. Uh, yeah, it's definitely not 10 for 5, it's 10. Damn, I'm thinking of Yeezys, innit? Because you got to go half size up. I oh, fuck Yeezys, man. <laughs> so I would have accepted 10 or 9.5, innit? Damn. Yeah, but yeah, 10. Well done, guys. Well done. I feel like. I don't know. I feel like you've said ten point five before. No, never. I have for I have for uh, these, but like I wouldn't I wouldn't consider that. I wouldn't get ten point five in any other crap. That's not your yeah. true size. Yeah, my <clears throat> actual size is ten, but I'll get nine point five in certain shoes, isn't it? Damn man. But yeah, uh, this next one. I was I was I'll almost be... gonna have to do what I you know every time I get you crepes here. Like, I feel like your cousins hate me because I call them. I'm like, yo, what's AB's shoe size? And they're like, who the fuck's this? <laughs> Just message them, innit? I, I, was about to, I was about to call them now, say, yo, 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 for a quiz. <laughs> what's the <this> shoe size? <laughs> okay, next question. How many bones have I broken? How many bones have you broken? Yep. You're kind of dramatic, innit? So you might include every injury that you've ever had. No, 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 no. Oh, speaking. Yes, oh, this guy's like, oh, what time? What time? This guy put this guy. Put, it, it, it wasn't once. Me. It was twice. No, he put no, me in crutches up, twice. Man, no, 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 <laughs> shut up. KOJ put me in crutches yeah, twice, bro. Bro, Listen, I, just don't hey, slide. Whoa, 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 whoa! You know, you, you know, you know, you know how I play football, yeah? Do you think? Do you think I would ever slide tackle someone on concrete, fam? Do you slide tackle me on concrete, G? Who's gonna? Who's gonna? How can I even get that? That how Bro, can I even I get that doppy. slippery? And then, and the second, and the second time, he side tackled me uh, uh, in PE while I'm playing football, fam. What do you think? Right. This, this is gonna help with my answer. You know, you said he put you in crutches twice. Yeah, well, both of those times, like for broken bones. 
No, no, no. It do, it's okay, not. cool. It's not. Yeah, that's that's what I was saying. He's, he's Jamaican. No, no. This guy yeah. was I'm limping. Actually yeah. broken, yeah. It, like, broken, broken, broke. broke. Like broke, broke, not like fractured or sprained or whatever. He d- he didn't even need to use those crutches. You know, all, all so are you, are you like are you going like actual how many individual bones? Like if you broke your leg, it'd be two bones, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, you could say the fucking thing like like so if if it's leg, like it won't be just say leg in it. It doesn't have to be mm-hmm. two bones. It don't, it, don't, it don't have to be that specific. But you could just say the place. Like, oh, it's not my it's, it's not my ankles though. Even though Kerjan did dopey me twice, I should have mentioned that in the, in one of the. Episodes. <laughs> I dopeyed you in football. I never, I never injured you. You did it. You bro, you put me in crutches, bro. Yo, cry, yo, cry baby, man. Bro, man said worst, cry baby, fam. Where, where, bro, worst thing crutches, is, yeah. Man. Worst thing is, man said I slide tackled him on concrete. You Who did slide though, tackles fam. on concrete. You did. Why would you I slide do tackle that? In, in concrete, fam, with those, <laughs> with those, 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 that, those veteran air forces you had, fam. I knew he was gonna say that. <laughs> So basically, right, it's still capitals. Um. I'm ready. I think. I think I'm ready, but I'm 100 percent going wrong though. Yeah, I feel like I go wrong definitely. Uh, go on, you guys ready? Yeah. I know you ready. Yeah. yeah. But this ain't. By the way, uh, d- disclaimer. This ain't something that like I don't. I don't think I've ever told you guys. But yeah. But it's just something I feel in there. What is, is it traumatic? No, no, no. You sure? Yeah, yeah, I'll tell you. I'll tell you the story. What happened afterwards? Oh, my answer is definitely wrong then. <laughs> Yeah. All right, let's go, let's go. Go, go, go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, shit. Zero. <laughs> what? Yeah, <man>. Three? <laughs> no, no, it's actually one. Oh, it's going to uh, go in one. I've broken. So I don't even get to see you, yeah, but I've broken my pinky, fam. Look here. Yeah. Look how bendy this shit is, fam. Wait, but is it actually broken, broken? It was, it was broken, bro. It was broke, bro. But look, look at this. X-ray broken, yeah? Look, look at this one. Look, look how, look, this one's like, this is this as much as I can bend on this pink. This pinky, yeah. Yes. And look, at look at this one. Yeah, yeah I can do that. Look. See what? See what I said no, when but, this guy's no, dramatic. Look fam. at look at this one. Look at this one. You see, everyone can bend their pinky, fam. No, what but compare mean? it to this. Compare it to this. It doesn't. I don't. I don't. I don't think you guys can understand. Look, look how bendy this shit is. I look how bendy this is. <laughs> but I can't lie. I think it's just your cross eyedness. <laughs> You're just seeing them at different angles, fam. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I actually broke him. So basically, I think we'll play. We're playing wrestling. And then I fell, <clears throat> but the way I fell, I fell like on my pinky in it, and then it was finished. Man. It was actually <laughs> in primary school. How did you find that it was broken, bro? I went to the hospital, fam. I went to the hospital for a pinky. <laughs> oh, gee, oh, gee, I was like, I was like, I was like nine years old, fam. I was in tears, fam. So, <laughs> gee, I thought my fucking finger was coming off, fam. Man, I love you, though. This is what I mean when this guy said this guy's Jamaic, bro. This is how you know I didn't slide tackle him. You're only saying that because you tried to kill my ankles twice. Alright, cool. Next one. Yeah. Oh, shit. Alright, cool. What is my favourite holiday that I've ever been on? I, and, I, and then I'll give you... There's two There's two answers. And you can't go on my Insta. If, if I get both of them right. You don't get two points. Okay, if I get what? if I send two and I get one right, yeah, you get a point. Oh, there's one that I haven't put that might be up there. Bruv, I'm not even struggling to choose between holidays. I'm struggling to remember where the hell you've been. If it's if it's the one that I don't say, I'm gonna be fuming, fam. I'm playing it safe. Yeah, I think I, I think my answers. Yeah, I think it might be. Oh shit! Yeah, I forgot you went. There. I was gonna say Iceland, fam. Damn, the, bro, I've never been back home, fam. <laughs> <laughs> Don't obviously don't want, don't want to say the answer, but I've never been back home, bro. Okay, oh man, you could. Oh. I feel like if you did go there, that'd probably be like a uh, like a lit holiday. Isn't it? No, it would have been. It would have been. This, this is where, how we know you didn't listen to episode five, you know. Yeah, man, you were there, oh. fam. I remember. Really? I was like, it would be sick if we if we go to each other's countries. Yeah. No, no, that was a different one. We had a whole episode on on holidays. Remember, around the world with last. Oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, but yeah, landlord is right. It's actually ass on. That's the one I was like, oh, if it's yeah. that one. But you uh, said there's, Barca, there's two options. But, but Barca nowhere is up there. But the two that I was thinking was Iceland uh, or Brussels. Fuck, I was going to go with Iceland, man. Oh, yeah, man. But come on. Oh, yeah, yeah. Iceland. But Barca is, de- I think Bar- Bar- I think Barca is definitely up there. Barca was, Barca was sick. Can, can I get a half point for that? I don't know about Brussels. Psych, he you punk. He doesn't need the extra <laughs> points, man. I do, you bro. Really I'm, thought, I'm struggling to get that last you point. You really bro. thought it was going to be that easy? Man just asked me, like, oh, yeah, bro. <laughs> 
get the fuck out of here, man. <laughs> I might add one. I might ask you guys. Uh, I'll ask you guys the fucking what your schools are after we finish, and I might add one question, and then do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Depending on what your school are, schools are, isn't it? Seven and a half. Eight, seven, seven and a half. Three. That's 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 all right, you know. Uh, Arden, no, no, no. I'm, I, I didn't ask you, Arden. <laughs> uh, how many yeah. how many questions left? Uh, two. Yeah, I'm done. But, but <laughs> potentially three. There could be another. Yeah, I'm still done. Kyoji, okay, what were you on? Eight. Eight. Yeah. Yeah, I think you. I think you won still. I'm trying to beat. No, because that's why I'm trying to ask for these half points because there might be like some late ones where because it's late on your life you hung out with landlord more, so you know. But I've always spoken to you. That like we've always listen, man. We're, we're, I, don't, I don't think we're as close as you think we are. Either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not boys like that. I like. All right, what is my biggest pet peeve? What the fuck? I have no idea. I'm, I have no idea. I'm just gonna go with my one. <laughs> <laughs> Lalo, do you know this? I don't think he knows this. This guy, you don't complain about nothing, so I don't know what. Me? Yeah. I, I feel like my one is will be a lot of people's pet peeves. Yeah, that's why I'm going with mine because I feel like it's a common. This, but you know when I say it's mine, yeah, this gets me enraged, like to the point where I could fight someone for it. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll, fight, <laughs> I'll fight someone for what, what, what my pet peeve is. No, but it could be the same thing. I just, I get it. it you might, yeah. It ruins my day, man. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I don't. I don't think we're doing the same thing. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Are uh, you guys ready? Yeah, I think so. I'll go on three, two, one. I was gonna go with that landlord. Loud chewing. Yeah. Wait, that ruins your day, and you fight someone over it. Bro, I, it, I don't know what it is. I feel like I have like uh, an intolerance to certain noises in it but like it gets me angry like angry, angry. when people like smack their lips and shit yeah yeah yeah. it gets me like hot-headed honestly i hate it <laughs> <laughs> imagine you just see you dash his laptop like, Fuck this. <laughs> uh, but yeah lando said complaining and kill just said people will lie i'll give you half a point for that but um the actual one is dirty fingernails oh I would never guess that. Yeah. yeah. I hate, bro. Gets me livid, fam. Cut my nose today. Yeah, man said cut my nose. I went like this. <laughs> <laughs> so I got half point, yeah? You got half a point for that. Yeah, no. Wait. How? For lying. No, but that's that's all I know that's based on of that, experience. Bro. Do you know what I mean? Like, it piss, I know that pisses them off. What's lying got to do with fingernails? No, it's like it's like a close, it's like a close second, isn't it? So I'll give him that. He won and already. Also, he won also, already. So also, no also, it's it's the only thing that he's. I feel like that's the only thing you've ever complained about to me verbally. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, I, yeah thought, I, I, I thought I thought would have gone on that one as well. No, I'm complaining. It's it's all right now. People complaining. I don't. Know. That's all right. Yeah. What is what was the color of my first car? And I've you've all you guys have been in my been in my car. I think you. I think, can, can I can I put I two? Because it's, 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 it's between it's between these two. I don't think I've been in your car. Have you not? You've seen you've yeah. definitely seen my car then. Can I put two colors that are very similar to each other? No, nah, it's one. Sorry. No, because they they're literally the same color, bro. No, it's, it's they not. just have a different finish to them. I'm not accepting that one. I think I'm ready. I'm putting both anyway, fam. <laughs> oh god three what? two I know Lando's gonna get this one what three ten in it huh you guys ready properly, bro. oh shit oh go on and go on yeah. and go on yes it's over oh it's over, yeah. thank god oh, I made it to nine and a half huh? I think you'll just get off the point if he's writing two one two, 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 two. no but like silver and grey is the same thing no no, like, pretty much the same. It's, it's not the, the same. same, but it's that's why I put gray slash silver because it's like a gray silver, isn't it? Nah, he silver. said gray. He said gray first. No, so no, 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 no. Get get out of here, man. Remember, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll move you. You know, check out, check. But yeah, what's what's he guys? That that was it. But I might have. I'm, I I might ask ads just one question, but it's off like a generic one. Bro, all right, go on. 
God. No, but what's your, what's, what's your lot's final, what's the final tally? About nine and a half. Oh, oh. Nine and a uh, half, yeah? One, yeah. Two, just just three, four. Four? <laughs> yeah. How long? I uh, no. I feel like I should have 10, you know. Friday, this guy has tried to convince nah. me for years to watch Friday. Wait, you yeah, got every other question it. right? Huh? You got every other question right? There's 13 questions. I got uh, three and, four and a half wrong. No, three and a half wrong. Yeah, three and a half Oh, wrong. yeah, I'm thinking there's 10 questions. Yeah, my bad. Uh, Lando, what's your, what's, what's, your, what's your final score? Eight and a half. Oh, I just, 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 just missed it, fam. You got, you got, you got a two-one. <laughs> wow, cool. I add, what's my favorite yeah. restaurant? Favorite, favorite restaurant. Bro, and this is, is some... Turkey. Is it a Turkish one? No. Nah. Oh, okay, yeah, that's it. You think of Gokuzi, okay. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's not. It's not Gokuzi. I miss Gokuzi. It's such a basic bitch answer, fam. But I love it. What? Always. Don't say, don't say no. Mando's. Is it? Oh, nice. That's five points, right? No, he ain't getting on one. Because he, oh. he only got it because I said it was a basic bitch answer. <laughs> Otherwise, you wouldn't have got it. Oh, man. But yeah, guys, I am looking, I'm currently looking for new friends. Yeah. If you guys, if you send in your CV at uh, the Gmail. Yeah. If, if you become his friend, he's going to lie to you about his life, the whole life, and then he's going to give you a quiz with fake questions and everything. But his favourite movie is apparently Paid and Fall. He's never spoken about Paid and Fall in his life. Are you stupid? Bro, uh, bro you, you actually know. I, actually, you know, actually, wait, wait. Paid and Fall, I'll give you that. You have spoken to. And I said I'll give you that. It's, I said it. <laughs> you and, your picture, and your picture used to be from Paid and Fall as well. Oh, now, bro, now bro. I'm remembering I kind of fucked up on that one. Not yeah, you did fuck up on that one. No, but Friday is a valid one, though. Friday, tell me you don't love Friday. I love Friday, but it's, it's not my favorite. Oh, I thought it was up there, but I'm not gonna lie. I watched it recently as well, I can't lie, but Same. it's definitely not my favorite. All right, when it's my episode, yeah, none of you are getting points. You want, you not getting... even one point. My questions are going to be so difficult. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be like, what's my favorite pastime? Bouldering. Yeah, wait. Nope. <laughs> What was your favorite pastime? Bashing. Well, yeah, that, that was correct, but that's not going to be one of the questions. <laughs> oh, bashing. <laughs> but I said, yeah, that was correct. <laughs> so I think we concluded that. Um... You guys, you guys done well though, apart from ads. Chill out, man. It's all right, it's all right, man. I didn't expect you to do well anyway. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm joking. Well done, guys. Yeah, but that was that was the that was how old how old did AB? That was the AB quiz. Should you move on to some Titan takes from you lot at home? Oh wait, let us know. Wait, let us know. Uh, obviously, the viewers, if you're doing it, if you think you know me, if you're doing it, if you're doing the quiz along with uh, the Titans, let us know in the comments or on Insta how many you guys got right. So we told them at the end of the quiz, you can play along. By the way, <laughs> it's calm, man. <laughs> they would have played along anyway. Go back and just forget about the answers and try again. Oh, we just, we just add it. We just add it. We just put the I put that bit in before the other one, didn't it? <laughs> um, <laughs> let me pull up. Let me pull up the poll results in it. Oh, from last week. Oh, okay. this, this is interesting. We're gonna go through your Titan takes from last week, um, from last week's episode, where we oh, argued I'm about. Also a argue, couple. Now we wait, won't wait, argue. We won't argue. We, we can won't we argue. get landlord take first? Because he was yeah, gone. Then. Yeah, nah, yeah, go on. Yeah. So, oh, so let, me, question, then. let me introduce the questions here. <laughs> uh, first question was, where's it gone? There's quite a few of them. Do you believe in the death penalty? It's, it's not really a straightforward answer though. Because ah, so he believes in nuance, not consistency. Uh, get out of here. Ah, <laughs> say nothing, say nothing. Well, what did he, what did he say, sorry? It is not a straightforward answer. Yeah, situation. Where, where, what, what, like scenarios would you give the death penalty? Uh, pedophilia. And yeah, I think we all agreed on that. <laughs> uh, like, uh, like grade A rape, it? So like, see, this is what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Actually, that's exactly what me and Adam said, by the way. <clears throat> yeah. Um. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> let's go that? on that note. Let's go through some takes from other other people. <laughs> First one. All right. So one says, "Yeah." Uh, where is it going? Somebody <laughs> said, Kyo- "Kyojin deserves the death penalty for muting my boy AB." You, prep. Whoever you have you said that it was ads. My, yes, my brother. <laughs> I'll excuse. I'll excuse everything else that you that you. I'll excuse the the quiz, fam. My brother, you know. Yes. Someone yes. someone said, in my opinion, there are too many subjective nuances in crime to justify it. I bet that was you. Well, it wasn't. It wasn't me. It was the actual viewer. Hmm. I got the. Well, like, so I got the. In my opinion, there are too many subjective nuances in crime to justify it. Yeah, but you. Yeah, but, yeah. You could say that about any punishment. Mm, but the only thing about def- the death penalty is it's too final. Do you know what I mean? I don't. Wanna, I don't want to go straight but jump back into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, well, how much should I say? How much should I not say? I, I will say it could be argued for other forms of punishment as well. Mm. That same thing. Do you know what I mean? So uh, yeah. Uh, Someone said an eye for an eye makes the world go blind. AB's cross eyed anyway. <laughs> I'm not even cross eyed. I don't know where this came from. <laughs> oh, I'm joking. I'm joking. Any, any any comment on that one? I for an eye makes the world go blind. Um, yeah, I don't believe in that. Mm. I think you get you you get what what you give in it. Mm. What goes around comes around. Yeah. Uh, next one says, <laughs> "This person is very passionate about. It. Fuck you! If you commit crime that deserve it, then don't waste valuable time, money, and space on jailing you." Yes, bro. Nice. That was, Good answer. That was, okay. I've, there's quite an interesting one. Yeah, it says no one is ultimately responsible for their actions. So how can we punish people for things? What do you mean, bro? Which what do you mean you're not this? responsible for your actions. I agree with that. You know, as well, in, you're I don't not responsible for your actions. No, no, I don't agree with it. Like to that extent. But I think, you know, last week when we were talking about, um, you c- things can lead you to murder. Do you know what I mean, like, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I don't. I, obviously, ultimately, things can lead you to rape. Yeah, but that's different. I'm pedophilia. Yeah. That's different. Wait, no, 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 no. Pedophilia is a bit. Again, uh, again, if you, yeah. If you if you got nonced as a child, then obviously I, I, you know what it might lead you to become a nonce. Again, I agree. Yeah, <laughs> I agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> it's true though, it's true, it's true, it's very true. Yeah. But bro, no, sorry. No, no, it's because man said that. You, if you got <laughs> the thing is Kyojin, you're you know, I mean, wait, you know, maybe you know people actually get touched up as kids, you know. Man's laugh saying that. No, 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 I'm not <laughs> laughing at that man. Bro, how can man say if you got nonsense uh, as a child, bro? That's you deserve to be cancelled, man. But yeah. no, no, bro, no, 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 Kyojin, no, 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 I I agree with you, I agree I think, with you. I think take the statement as is, isn't it? Don't yeah. don't like try and change it a bit because the statement was you're not responsible for your actions uh, that but, is, but the thing that is, is the thing is in that in that case i know that person that so i can get into their mind a bit but to, to, no, to but, be honest to be honest though like you see you see when people were answering this question they didn't have our debate on pdf like the question was just do you believe in death penalty so they might not have listened to the episode and related yeah, pedophilia to it you know what i mean so in that case we don't know like they could be talking about anything in it I was going to say, similar to the previous answer, though, if you argue that for the death penalty, you can argue that for any other form of punishment. So yeah. if no one's responsible for their actions, then why should anyone get punished? I mean, it just... Yeah. You, but that's, that's, that's an extreme, though. I get what you're saying. It can go to so many, so many levels, it, it just starts not to make sense. I'd say that's an extreme, though. I, I, I get what they're saying. Like, factors can lead you into things. Obviously not with pedophilia. I don't want to go into it again. Um, <laughs> Next one says, uh, so the someone said, uh, AB, they said, certain crimes, i.e. rape and pedophilia, deserve death, no second chance. Yeah. Good answer. Uh, someone said, yeah, if AB is getting it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the worst thing is, it's not my boy, it's your boy, bro. The last one says, number one, they can't suffer if they are dead. Number two, innocent people have died due to corruption. Yeah. yeah, but we we went over that last week as well. Like in yeah. today's society, it's not feasible. But if there was a society where you could, a one hundred percent, be certain that someone was guilty of the crime, yeah, then then that's when it would be acceptable. And what was it? What was what was the first point they said? The first one was they can't suffer if they are dead. Um, well, I mean, being dead is bad enough. It's the ultimate suffering. Yeah, it depends. It depends on what you believe in, though. 
you know I mean? yeah, even if you don't believe in like an afterlife, like being dead is like it'll be it'll be, it'll be worse it'll be worse on your worse on your family, no? Because if if you don't believe in obviously we're going into like religion and like theism mm. and stuff like that, innit? But if you don't believe in thing yet, yeah, or you think when you're about to die, you think this is it, it's just over. Like afterwards, I can't feel anything. It'll be over. Do you know what I mean? Depends yeah, on the mindset of the person. But also, I, I don't, I don't agree with that statement, by the way. I don't think anyone wants to die, man. Yeah, I, I don't mind. And <laughs> just, I feel like it. I feel like you're low key then um, advocating Damn, son. <laughs> as punishment. Is yeah. From the right home, bro. Yeah. Oh, we we said uh, we low key adv- advocating for torture as punishment. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I agree. I don't. I don't. I don't like seeing the the justice system as re- uh, retribution. In it. I prefer it like as rehabilitation. So I can't really agree with that that stance. But I agree with mm. number two though. Innocent people have died due to corruption. And as we were saying last week, as you said, we can't, in this world it doesn't really. I think yeah. it's a bit. It doesn't really make sense. Uh, that was all the responses for Fink Shag. Go through the so the poll it was forty three percent yes and fifty seven percent no, so pretty split. That's closer closer than I expected. So say that what what was the poll? Forty three percent yes, so they believe in the death penalty, yeah. and fifty seven percent no. Raw. Yeah, pretty close, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Pretty close. The next one. The next one we had was can conservatism in families and then in brackets there's lack of sex education contribute to rape culture we almost got into a little bit of argument of this in the group chat again <laughs> <laughs> let's leave it out <laughs> um oh what's that called? <laughs> let me see the ticks let me see the ticks with this one oh do you want to hear who voted which way or do you want to hear the ticks first whichever uh, we'll, we'll do, do the, the ticks first isn't it yeah, yeah. give it the same structure you can get a feel but let's ask uh, Landlord first, yeah. Landlord, do you think conservatism in families, so like lack of talking, not talking about sex education in families, can lead to um, rape culture, like influence? No. No. Um. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, it's a, it's a bit of a sticky question to put on you, like on the spot, in it. To be honest, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's something you've got to think about. Hmm. Oh, we'll go through something that takes you. Answer it correctly. Isn't it? So yeah. Know. Someone said people being too scared to talk about things is never good. So they said like yes. Um. Someone said I think someone really wanted to talk about it. They said yo, you man, boy up finally. Imagine some girl from work got raped by her own uncle. I hear a lot of that on the internet. Yeah, you know? I I, I yeah, heard a few stories about that as well. You know. Yeah, like it's that's crazy to me personally mm-hmm. because obviously when I look at my family, I think like everyone's sane of mind. Everyone is you know get get mm-hmm. on the wall. I could never imagine any of that in my family. And then when you hear it go on the internet, it's like all these people have stories, and you're like, whoa. Mm. Either people are hiding it really well, or it's only happening in certain families. You know what I mean, that's crazy. That's, that's sad to hear though There's a sad case to hear And from like What we're seeing on the internet Apparently it's, it's very like It's not that rare um, The next one So he said He said yes on the poll But then he said uh, It's a yes and no um, Just because there's a lack of sex uh, talks Doesn't mean there's a lack of respect For the opposite gender That's um, true It's a false equivalent in my opinion But it can be a factor As well as many other things Yeah I agree yeah, with I agree that with Yeah I agree, I agree with that, that. Yeah <clears throat> yeah that's that's what i meant last week by the way that it's a factor not like if you if you if you have a conservative family you're going to be a rapist when you're done obviously i don't think that at all do you, know I mean? you should have used your words better last week then last week i explained that listen you, the, 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 the fog got in your head the fog got in your head and, and you're like nah, nah 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 i'm joking i'm joking cool. uh someone said um this this was kind of similar to what me and uh, ab were saying last week I think, yeah, because some people tend to then learn about sex elsewhere and learn the wrong things. For example, they watch porn and learn like violent or abusive tendencies. I agree with that. Oh, and they also added, also, there is no excuse that people should educate themselves and not blame others for their own actions. Yeah, Man, let's, let's make this clear, please. Yeah? None of us are excusing rape. Like, we're just trying to create some discourse. 
yeah, so it's cool. Like, yeah. Try, to attack, try to attack the root cause of like people's uh, perspectives and shit. Yeah. And try to change that shit, fam. No one's excusing mm. rape. Just, yeah, because I, I feel like personally, yeah, it's naive to say it happens out of the blue. Like, it's such an evil thing. Surely yeah. you want you want to look at like why certain steps, people do it. Yeah, because there's steps for them to feel that comfortable. Because I, I can't, I, 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 can't, yeah. I, can't, I, can't, I can't comprehend someone like going to that extreme from like that's their first step, like from zero to that. Like, they're all, yeah. obviously, there's steps to that in it, the, the, mm. the end, whatever in it. Mm-hmm. Is that something like surely someone like, like and what makes it so go, easy to do, like go through those steps and shit? It made like. it feel comfortable to do that, innit? It's yeah. like a murderer. Surely they started off like by like killing ants and like spiders and shit as a as a child and that. Yeah. They just progressed. Mm. Uh, yeah. And then the last one was unless this is paired with misogynistic views, <laughs> then uh, no. They said no unless it's paired with misogynistic views. But I agree though. Like, I'm not saying again. I'm not saying it's the only factor. There's just certain things that can influence you. Or well, not influence us contribute. Like people can yeah, contributes. Do you know what I mean? And I'm not even saying it's a major factor. I'm just saying it's something I consider a factor. Um yeah. The misogynistic part though is one that I kind of disagree with. Because that's kind of yeah. insinuating that I know statistically men are the the, the majority yeah, was, of the perpetrators. I was gonna say this. I was gonna but say this. It's more it's more of a power thing, and then in this society, men tend to have more power. So that's why say, that's why men by do saying it. By, sit, by making the point about the misogyny, you've kind of discounted the fact that male on uh, sorry female on male rapes happen. Mm. Yeah, more th- more than a male thing, I think rape is like a, a power thing, and then it ha- just happen- so happens that we live in a very patriarchal society, in it, and that's why I think the statistics lean to a certain side. But I think it's dangerous to say it's only a male thing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But it, obviously, it's important to recognize that women are more often in uncomfortable situations i think there's other factors thing. that i think there's other factors that play into the statistics as well so men are obviously less likely to report it because you know they don't mm. want to act like a victim mm. <clears throat> and they might not view it as rape either even though technically it is yeah it's like it's like that time when we were talking about the news being sent to the six formers and you were like geez if i was in sixth form teachers send me news <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, them yeah. ones, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah no. Yeah. I obviously I agree that, like, obviously t- statistically, and like, I do think women get raped by men more often, and I think yeah. it's a pow- it's a power thing, isn't it? Um, and obviously that's that comes with patriarchy, which obviously we can go into another should day. We, should yeah? we have a debate if as it, should we have a debate on if patriarchy exists? <laughs> You don't believe in patriarchy? <laughs> no, 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 I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, bro, I, I got half an hour left. I don't know if I can go into a whole other debate if you don't believe that. No, no, no. The, the, the poll was 71% yes and 29% no. It was, more, it was more yes than I thought it would be, to be honest. Hmm. Yeah. To the, the conservative question. Yeah, conservatism and families. I'm not going to lie. What I did notice yet, I don't want to assume and I don't want to... This is purely conjecture, by the way, yeah. But it was mostly Muslims who said no. Do you know what I mean? And I feel like they might see my because it was my at the end of the day it was my question in it, like a, a a question that I was asking you guys. They might see that question as like an attack on Islam. I'm not saying it's not an attack on any religion. It's an attack on a family for not, um, families for not. I don't know how to explain it. But you get you get what for I mean. It, in like, it. For it, like reinforcing these boundaries and just just educating. yeah, like, like it's, it's, it's not like I'm saying. Islam is is an influence into this. No way. It's that individual way family. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Or like the application of, of certain things. Again, I'm not saying the application of Islam because those families can be perfectly religious and, and they are being perfectly religious, isn't it? It's just, yeah, it's not an attack on Islam. That's what, that's what I'm trying to say. Mm. Not, not in any religion at all. But yeah. Wait, do always, people say that or are you just assuming? That's why no, no, it's, it's purely conjecture for me. I just noticed that. It's mo- mo- like mostly Muslims saying no. That said no, but Muslims also said yes as well. By the way, so I don't. I feel like I'm painting too many <laughs> pictures with so much conjecture right now. Bro, you're just chatting shit now, fam. No, but you get what <laughs> Adam, Adam gets. What I mean, and yeah. I just wanted to clear that up. I understand what you mean. Yeah, yeah. yeah that is, it's not attack on religion. That was the application of yeah. sex education in the household. Yeah. So that so was you're Islamophobic. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I have I have a bunch of self hatred internalized inside me. Uh, speaking of that, the next question. 
Oh, we got a whole, we got a voice note for this one. I don't know if should uh, I just sum it up yeah. or. No, nah, don't play it. Don't play it. Okay. Just summarize it. You've listened to it before, innit? Once I can't remember everything. Okay, yeah, I, still I, I, just, I still haven't heard it. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what it says. I'll tell you what it says. Yeah. Um, let's go through the. Do you want to go through that one first? Yeah, might as well. To be honest, the person who uh, sent that in, so they agreed with both of us. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. In terms of, so they wait. Let's see what they first said. Oh, somebody replied very late. I didn't see that one. <laughs> is this the coach appropriation question? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, the yeah. question is the question is uh, is cultural appropriation issue. This includes whether or not you think it exists or something we should consider as a, an issue. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and the first response was the issue isn't whether or not it exists, it's navigating the parameters of where it exists. Um, that, was, that wasn't really my argument, but yeah, I agree. Do you know what I mean? I think subjectively, I know subjectively it's my opinion, yeah? Yeah. But I think subjectively, it objectively exists. The thing is, though, for someone who doesn't believe it exists, the issue of yeah. it existing is a fact, is, is the point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why, yeah. The, that's why the question was posed. No, no, no. Even even in the voice notes, yeah, she clarified that. Like, I get people can um, argue that it doesn't exist, but she was saying, like, in her opinion, there's no argument that. It, do you get what I'm, do you know what I'm trying to say? Like, okay. it objectively exists in her opinion, if that makes sense. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So she knows that you can argue that it doesn't exist, but yeah. in like she sees it as that it exists for sure. Do you get what I'm trying right. to say? Yeah. Yeah. And then she said, "I'm going to voice note my opinion is because it's very long." Okay, so in the voice note, there was one point that i was like in the heat of the moment why did i not think of this point it's such a big part of cultural appropriation that is like a major point yeah basically what she was saying is like there's also one other factor is that you can have you can appreciate something but the appropriation is also when you either give credit or you claim ownership like so there's one side where you give credit and say like oh this is like i don't know um a Sri Lankan mutton roll do you know what i mean Mm-hmm. But then imagine, like, I, I remember because you know, MH, yeah, he voted no on the cultural appropriation. Yeah, I was, I was a little bit curious in it to see what he thought, thought about it. You're asking what it means. <laughs> 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 I messaged him, yeah, and we were just speaking about it. And he was like, he, So, they, what he was saying was like, he voted for the um, for no just because I didn't argue it well enough, like, I was cornered against you two. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? So I, 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 not the points, but I flopped the argument basically. Yes, MH, my G, he's on our team. <laughs> and then I, I, then I gave him, I gave him a scenario that yeah, we'll, we'll bleep out some names. But I said to him, "Your MH, imagine, we're, we're all back at school, we're all back at six form, yeah, and <laughs> he mm. brings in lamb sukar. Sukar is like a, a Somali delicacy in it, mm. like diced, diced meat in it. And he comes into the ca- canteen and says, "Yo, guys." I got this nice new bangers and mash from, from Cornwall. I would, I would like you to try some. I was like, wouldn't you feel some type of way? And he's like, you know what? That's a violation, you know? Why is he doing that? I was like, bro, that's exactly what cultural appropriation is. Like one form of it. And he was like, yeah, to be honest, I get it. Do you know what I mean? Imagine AB, yeah? If one day on the, on the podcast, yeah, Adam comes with mutton rolls, yeah? And says, this is fish fingers from my country. Everyone try it. You wouldn't feel some type of way. That's the thing, though. My argument was that it shouldn't matter. Like, because your culture doesn't matter that much. That's the argument. Like, people can do that, yeah. To, I'm saying that. I don't. Yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah. I, I'm saying bro, it shouldn't I know, matter that much. I know, man's, I know my identity within my culture well enough to not give a fuck about what someone yeah. else right, let me let, let me give you another. Let me give you another analogy, yeah? Let's say this is medieval times, isn't it? Yeah? And... You co- no, nah, nah, listen, listen. And you come into the village where most of Arden's family lives here. I don't, Arden, I'm not using you because you're half white, just because the other come, come, example. Come, yeah, yeah. So Arden's, Arden's family, they run that village in it. And they're the majority in it. And then you, co- you come into the village and you got some mad story that's been passed on from generation to generation. Yeah. Something about like your, your great, great, great granddad slaying a dragon or some shit. It could be any story in it. Yeah. And you come, you come in, yeah, to the village and you're one day like in the village square. You're telling the story, <coughs> Arden comes and says, Shut the fuck up. That's the deadest story I've ever heard in my life. He, and he says to you, AB, you're a piece of shit for telling that story. And he says it to you so much that you start to believe that you are a piece of shit for telling that story. And you go home and think, You know what? Maybe I shouldn't tell that story. It's such a dead story. Yeah. Then two weeks later, 
you come back to the village square and Adam is telling that story as if it was his his great 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 granddad. Yeah, you're telling me you wouldn't feel some type of way. He made you think that you're a piece of shit for telling that story, and then two weeks later he's telling that story and saying that it was his great great granddad. Bro, man's a piece of shit for making someone else <laughs> believe that man's a piece of shit. Yeah, but like <laughs> in in certain situations, be, like do you agree? Yes or no? You would. That's a violation. Yeah, that's a violation. That's what. That's one part of what. That's one form of cultural appropriation. Do you know what I mean? But if something in your that's... if something in your culture is you try to practice it, and the whole like your surroundings told you you're a piece of shit for for following but, that, bro. The the only reason, like, because I would agree that that's a violation, but yeah, because a story like that is not. It's only in how many people is that pick up? Because culture is in many it's forms. Too personal, though. it's too personal. Yeah, yeah, but some people's culture is personal to them. Do you know what I mean? That's what what I scream at that this is the nuance in certain people's. That's, in that's certain what people's I'm saying, thing. though, bro. I'm saying culture shouldn't be that personal. But culture it's comes, that culture comes in many forms. Like that, for example, that story could be culture. Do you know what I mean? No, but that story is part of your culture. I don't know, man. We're gonna we're gonna end up having no, but no, but you get what you get. You get what I mean, though. I understand the example. I don't and it's, agree. And it's with a violation, you. right? I don't agree that you can use that as an argument for the existence not, of cultural appropriation. Why not though? That that's a, because, that's that's an example of cultural appropriation. I feel like it's, I no, feel no, like no. it's too specific. Yeah. No, but because that's like that's like saying A B punches my grandma <laughs> and oh he's he's disrespected my culture. What? No, 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 me no, no. Because the story is is like an is it allegory? I don't know if that's the right word for your culture. Do you know what I mean? And your and culture analogy. is something I don't know, but your culture is something that you try to express. Same as a story is something you express, right? I don't think. You and can, something you um, hold, so, something you hold dear to you. Do you know what I mean? Mm, and I think I, one of the I reasons why, one of the reasons why, one of the issues is that we don't hold culture impo- as important to us. I know you were saying you don't agree do with tribalism. Do you do you, do you, do you hold do you hold your culture close to you? Now I do. Now I do. In my childhood, I didn't because I felt ashamed to. You, not gonna lie. What like what made you feel ashamed? Like. To say that you all express certain things, stuff like you know, like comments that are freshy, curry munch, all that stuff. Like. So if yeah. someone came, so if someone came in and started, um, I don't know, what's what's a uh, what's that thing, but what's that what's that sweet thing that you might eat, bro? I had it, I had it, in, I had it on Eid. Am I yard? No, I'm not your yard. Uh, is that the sweet man. spaghetti thing? That milk spaghetti thing? Oh, oh Faluda. Yes, we call no, it no, shamai. No. Shamai, that's it, yeah. yeah. Oh, so if man came in. If that is a, that is a, that is a 10 10 breakfast, you know, 10 10 yeah. breakfast, bro. Shamai, oh, okay, bro, yeah. we call it and, same, yeah. bro. Man, I, and parata, you have to have a parata, bangs. My friend's mom said that, you know, to that, yeah. that is thing, but yeah. So if man, if if a white person came in, I start, mm. start, uh, call it like milk shamai. spaghetti, fam, and, and yeah, call it I start spaghetti. calling it spaghetti, spaghetti sweet porridge, yeah. I would feel you know, some type of way, bro. It actually is pasta, though. It's the yeah, same yeah. thing. So. It's calm. We reclaimed French toast. French toast is a Bengali. I don't care if it says French in the name. It's a Bengali delicacy. That's, that's Beng- cultural Bengali toast. Bro. It's payback time. Retribution. <laughs> Fuck the French. <laughs> <laughs> On a side note, yeah. Did you, see, did you see that thing where they said they're not apologizing for any of their colonial yeah, like, that's crimes? Crazy, man. What? I think- France said that? Yeah, yeah. Mac- Macron said that, bro. Specifically about Algeria. And the thing oh. is, yeah. I think, um, like, they've chosen what path they're on in it, and they're not turning back from it. Like, they've very, run, very right wing. They've decided. Right they've wing. decided what what their stance is, and that's yeah. it. They're like doubling down on it. Yeah. And definitely. people, people in the comments, or the, I saw the comments here. They were like, "Oh, why do people need an apology so much? Like, does it does it hurt them to not get apology? Does it hurt you?" For them to get an apology, like why are you so yeah, exactly. like passionate for something about that's wrong? Yeah, for Bruv, the, I mean? the stuff they did in Algeria was horrible, man. It was so bad. And it's like uh, not, the majority of people aren't asking for like actual physical reparations; they just ask for an apology. And you tell me you yeah. can't even give that. You know, there's some. You know, there's some certain. Uh, I don't know. I can't remember exactly which countries, but there's countries in Africa that still pay colonial tax to European countries, and I think France yeah. is one of them. Yeah. Yeah. I can't remember the, which countries though, but the that's queen, fucked. The, the queen was like the 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 queen of like hella countries until very recently. Yeah, she like still her was, face, I swear, like, I swear her face off. is still in like the like the coin New Zealand and shit. I like. Could be man, I don't know, but would make it, it wouldn't surprise it wouldn't surprise me. Not gonna lie. Look at the flags, fam. I swear, New Zealand, Australia, and all those places were like 
uh, prison settlements or something. Or yeah. UK. Yeah. It's kind of crazy, man. Maybe. That's a whole other topic, though. I, bro, yeah. when we start talking about colonial, the colonial projects, but I get so heated, fam. We dive, we dive us bare, fam. But yeah, so she was saying, yeah, that like, so again, it's about credit and ownership, uh, ownership in it. So if you claim ownership over something, she would see that as thing. Um, but she was also agreeing with you guys that like music is, is it like a very techy one? Do you know what I mean? Because yeah. music is, music is something that like, for example, like if you, if you live in London, there's a certain type of music that you're going to listen to regardless of um, your eth- ethnic culture. Do you know what I mean? There's a, yeah. there's a, a social London culture rather than an ethnic culture. So you can adopt things from other places because you're part of that London culture, if that makes sense. Like it's yeah. very hybrid, not not like if you're South Asian, you're only going to fuck with South Asian things, isn't it? So is she saying that, that certain, so certain music or certain cultures should be just exclusive to that said community? No, no, she's saying like music is a very sticky one to no, see. No, 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 I'm they're... not talking about music. I'm talking about in general. Would, would, would that be her argument as well? Yeah, Aside yeah. from music? No, 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 it wasn't. I'm not lying. Okay. I think in terms of the music thing, that was one of my arguments as well, like the double standards, because, like, you know, we're talking about Mist and that. Yeah, she, but then she spoke the... about Mist as well. So she was God, saying, what did like, she say about Mist? So with Mist, yeah, she was saying that, like, for example, so she's not South Asian, yeah. she's um, uh, from Mauritius, isn't it? Mm. Um, and she was good. She was saying, like, with that Mist tune, she, I, I don't know the name of the artist in it, but she even named the artist. She was like, yeah, she was like, yeah, she was like yeah, I started yeah. listening to him because Miss like put him onto my radar if that makes sense yeah, she, she, no but I, I got we're not bro it's bro but we're not talk, we're talking about the song and his and his music yeah so like we're, I, not, I'm we're, not, we're gonna we're gonna go into the argument again do you know what I mean like no go on it, it's fine no no because I, I gotta go in a bit but also I, I do want to bring something up but go on I was gonna be like go on, say, say, I know yeah. what you're gonna say <laughs> <laughs> Basically, I thought of this after the podcast, but Kyojin is a massive fan of K-pop, innit? So I should have brought this up in the Wait, can, I say some, can I say something though? You know when you make yeah, the let, point, him, let him land it first. No, let him land it first. W- w- when he makes the point, yeah. I read this point yeah. many times. I'm gonna agree with you. Yeah. Okay, There's so no let him land it. Let him land it. Yeah, no, that's fine. I just wanted to okay. make it clear. Do you know what I mean? Like th- then this is part of the double standards thing. Because oh, if, land you're so it, out, land if you're so outraged that people are culturally appropriating other cultures then you should be similarly outraged to this um so obviously K- k-pop is from korea um mm. korea has its own music i imagine some sort of korean folk music whatever yeah but mm. they've adopted the american hip-hop style you could argue mm. it's the black american hip-hop style they've mm. adopted their their clothing their dance moves um no bro hip-hop is bro is originated by black people bro yeah yeah, yeah yeah that's what i'm saying so they've 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 taken all of that and and they make money off it yeah. a huge amount of money off it yeah yeah so th- well, that's what i'm saying so if, if you're like, outraged at other forms of cultural appropriation you should I've got a question the, the, the thing is question. but let, let me address that then you can't and, just move on to a different sorry, place I, I do need to add on to that i do need to add on to that yeah um i think a lot of people would agree also that um east asians can it's a bit of a sticky one to say but i feel like they can um they usually are pretty racist towards black people as well yeah, there's anti-blackness in um, that community. 100%. Yeah, bro, you know, yeah, so you, you know, when black people go to together. like these east, this um, these like oriental countries, they take pictures with them, fam. Yeah, yeah. I swear, they like, would, start, I swear, start like touching like, the hair and shit, bro. That's what the fuck. Black people are getting like kicked out of hotels when the Ebola crisis was hit, yeah. in, like in China. Yeah, then. in China. Yeah. yeah. So uh, just like addressing that, yeah, I agree yeah. with you, and it's also, it's also a point that people who there's people like so, for example, because I listen to K-pop, yeah. Obviously, algorithms yeah. and everything that certain things will come onto my timeline and my feed in it. Yeah. People, people do address that. Do you know what I mean like if somebody, yeah. if some like if a, a Korean artist say, says something sensitive, or like for example with like the um, I'm trying to think of examples, but people pull them up on that. Do you know what I mean I can't think of a yeah. specific example now, but people yeah. do pull pull them up on it a lot. Do you know what I mean like for example, there's a, a artist called uh, Jay Park in it. Yeah, and he must have wore, wore like box braids. People are outraged. Yeah. No one's like no one ignored it because he's good looking. Do you know what I mean? They said yeah. like they said, you know, his whole like because he he left the K-pop industry and now his whole thing is R and B in it. And R and B obviously we know comes from like America and it has a certain like culture to it, right? People yeah. address that. No, no one ignored it. Do you know what I mean? So I agree with you. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, but pe- but people do ignore because that's that's 
you brought up specific examples within uh, like people addressing certain things or certain events that have happened, but it's K-pop, mm. uh, K-pop as a whole. As in, I have like, a question. They, yeah. they stole the sound of the, the music. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. But I have a whole thing is culturally again, again, as we were saying, yeah, like music is a very techie one because as as, as a style, as Who a style, that, it, I'm claiming ownership over uh, her voice notes in it. They're all my points now. I'm oh, culturally yeah, appropriating cool. them. That's right, yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> like, there's a points that she brought up that I was like, yeah, these are sick, yeah. But no, I agree. Like, music is a sticky one. For example, yeah. If, man, if, can you man hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're gonna move, you're gonna move on to K-pop. K-pop yeah. Yeah. I have a question, yeah. You're go gonna on, move go. on to a different topic, bro. I want to shut up. No, no, no. It's just a quick question, yeah. yeah go if on. I start making K-pop, is that yeah. commercial appropriation? But what's what's K-pop though? Whatever the sound, I don't listen to K-pop. It's whatever the sound is, like the beats or whatever. Or As like, in, if you, st- hip, it's basically hip hop, no, Korean. But what, what do you? It's, it's not hip hop though. It's it's very like bubble pop. It depends. There's different genres. It's not one whole big genre. It's okay. I think we can all agree though that it still is cultural appropriation. As a whole, and, no, but I think it's definitely like because it's not their native sound culture. Yeah, I agree. Yes. I agree. So then, and it's 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 something people remind them to credit when they're when they're talking about very Western not, issues, isn't it? No, but that's not that's what I'm saying. You said you when they're talking to, about have, Western issues, but yeah. no, they should be pulled up on it generally, like because they are K-pop artists. Not shall I tell you? What, shall I tell you why they're not why they, why they're not pulled up on it generally though? Yeah, go. On. Korea is a very hom- like a homogenous country. Yeah. Do you know what I mean those those issues don't come up for them a lot, so there's no one to pull them up on it all the time. Do you know what I mean they they get pulled up on about the internet on the internet all the time? Bro, but like, they are fans. They are fans no, but, in the West. Bro, yeah, the thing and, is that, and obviously bro, they're they're selling that product to those fans who agree, who like enjoy it. Do you know what I mean? Bro, the people that call out people for cultural appropriation on the internet, they would never uh, pull up K-pop artists or pull up K-pop as a whole. Um, as music, music, music is music is different. Yeah, but that's we, what I'm we saying. spoke Who about this last that? week, innit? I'm, I'm, listen, the, you you personally decide wherever the premises are. I don't really care where people decide the premises are. Yeah. I only care whether people agree that it exists or not. Do you know what I mean? But that's what I'm saying. So if, the, the thing so, is, yeah, who, who am I, like, bro? I'm just Kildren from North West London. Do I know yeah. what? You know, last week when you guys were giving me different situations, yeah, but I felt like Judge Judy. You know, just putting cases in front of me, yeah, and telling me, "Is this? I don't know. Who am I, bro? Do you know what I mean?" All I know is it exists and it's an issue. And also the other thing is, yeah, cultural appropriation is a very fairly new concept, right? It's not something like set in stone that we know to be. Yeah, it's it's new because people recently are bored and they want something to be so. offended. They just want something to cry about, bro. Yeah, they I, want. Something I think people are, people are recently. Uh, <laughs> it was never a problem. Awo- awoken to things in it. Never a problem before because media was very homogenous as well. Nah, man. It's just because bro, if people, gonna do this, yeah, people back in the to, day had, 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 had we need, we need had to pull out bare people, you know. We need to cancel Ali G, Tim Westwood. Ali G is yeah, a bit bro, of sticky one, man. Huh? Again, you guys keep saying I'm music, and I say, "Oh, well, Little Britain got taken off Netflix anyway." So, <laughs> yeah. I mean, fair enough. That bro, they had nah, a whole man. black, had a whole black face in there. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, K-pop. Needs Dragon Ball Z. What do you mean, Dragon Ball Z? Dragon Ball Z had 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 the the fucking Fingy that face that brother who was training Goku. But yeah, that was mad. That is that is very mad though, and people still talk, people talk about it, fam. That's a, that's a kind of anti-black. Bro, this thing is you don't watch anime and you don't listen to K-pop, so you. I'm asking this, you. No, this I, wouldn't I, come I, off I, on I your album. Z, that's how I knew, but I even no, I even no but I, I'm talking I'm talking about like on Twitter, yeah. Like, are you on you on oh, the, the, okay, where they will come yeah, on I your cool. feed? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Children, I Fair. think I think in in order to make your your argument, you keep going back to particular uh, issues within the. K-pop community, and you're not, you're not no, but uh, agreeing I, no, but to the I, fact I, that I don't, K-pop I, I, as a whole. I don't think as a whole. I don't think no, he said he agrees. He said he agrees. As a whole, you're saying as a whole, K-pop is not culturally appropriated. It's it's culturally taken from a culture, but again, as I said, it, music is a very sticky one, and that's all I can say. I think I don't know. I think that's an easy cop out, though. Do you know what I mean? Not really. There's, there's nuance in it. I'm just going back to next year. There's nuance. <laughs> so what about fashion? What about clothes and that? Clothes. Yeah. Again, yeah, because you, you, they, again, they, again, they, again, they, you treat me like you treat me like Judge Duty. Stop putting no, cases bro, in front of me. I don't know. Bro. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, it's I, true though I, because I, I plead the fifth. I plead the fifth because you know you said about the Amaz- was it Amazonian or the the Native American clothing that urban yeah. outfitters used to sell. Yeah. yeah. So obviously these K-pop groups they don't wear traditional Korean clothing. They wear um, like clothing that is synonymous with hip hop. See with see with that's part um, of their brand. That's part see of their with brand. see with um stuff like that, yeah. So for example, like us wearing I don't know, 
supreme all that stuff yeah yeah but we live we live in 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 that culture they don't live in that culture uh let me let me, let me explain you the go on, go on, Ameri- yeah. when it comes to the cultural appropriation yeah there's also yeah. another concept that you have to think about yeah well that was my half my face this morning. uh <laughs> The world has undergone Americanization. Do you know what I mean? America yeah. is this massive marketing mogul. Do you know what I mean? Their influence is every... You know, you know before when you were saying like, oh, AB is influenced by black culture. There is, there is like maybe 20% of the world is not influenced by American culture. Do you know, do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So with American clothes, with American stuff, it's a sticky one because the whole world has gone undergone Americanization. I, I disagree because black you culture think... has influenced the world. I, I would argue just as much in yeah, terms of, of music, in terms of yeah, music, part, fashion, yeah, slang. I know fashion, that's part like, that's part of Americanization. It comes from African American culture through Americanization. Yeah. So mm. so so you're saying that African American culture can't be culturally appropriated. You can. You can. So then, when when Korean when K-pop artists appropriate again, you're going, their you're, clothing, you're going to you're going to music. It's a techie one. But clothing no, 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 is I'm not talking an, about the music. I'm talking clothing about the clothing is another one. That they wear. I'm about clothing the clothing, is, clothing is another one. Like, I can't how, really. How's clothing techie really... when when Urban Outfitters stole it from uh, Native American? Because you can track the source there. You can oh. though. You can, and also also yeah. Example, you're the yeah. you're the most annoying person to argue with. You know. <laughs> listen, listen. <laughs> Bro, he's you know so the, hard-headed, fam. You can't. You know, bro. You, you know, the, you know the other, bro. If I don't agree with you, I'm not gonna agree with you, am I? Yeah. The other thing is as well is that like with the um the tribal patterns from uh, um, Alpha, isn't it? Yeah. Those mean something to. I can't like I hear that. You know, that. like re- religiously that. and culturally, they mean something to those tribes. I do. Jeans that. don't. Jeans don't mean anything to you. Do you know what I mean? You're not How worshiping. You? A, you're not worshiping jeans, you know? are you? Uh, you? As a Muslim, I hope you're not. How do you know? <laughs> Stop for a lot. <laughs> but do you get do you get what I'm saying? Like those yeah, patterns mean the... those patterns mean something. I mean, yeah, and that's when when, becomes... when I say this when I say there's nuance again, you can't know the nuance in every situation. So I wouldn't be able to tell you what is and what isn't. Kerjo, are you screaming yeah that there's not one specific sort of I don't know what the word I'm looking for like sort of skeleton or like. This means one sort of factor that could be applicable. Yeah, there's yeah, there's loads of factors that could or couldn't be. It means you can't define. But but I'm screaming. Who are these people? Because there's some things that you could agree with that someone else might not. Yeah, there's no there's no solid definition. I'm 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 completely fine with that though. Do you know what I mean? In life, you have to be fine with people disagreeing with you on the parameters or something. So then then someone's going to have an issue. If someone gets called out for culturally appropriating, they can say, oh, no, but with my definition of cultural appropriation, I'm not culturally appropriating. And they then could. you, I remember you said, yeah, that yeah, that's someone gets so a cosign, it's, it's, it it's all right or whatever, yeah. But, I'd, but then but everyone else the can is, get a cosign. But the thing is, yeah, you know, you're saying like, oh, they can they can argue that, yeah. Um, I don't believe in the the court of the public, if that makes sense. Do you know what I mean? That's why I think there's nuance. I, I think okay. like, if, if it's like, oh, um, let's say AB turned up wearing, I don't know, Eating, like f- f- uh, I don't know, wearing something cultural for some, someone else's culture, yeah. And people felt some type of way. I think their only leg to stand on is feeling some type of way. I don't believe in that whole like canceling and losing your job over that shit because I don't think it's that deep. Do you know what I mean? In most cases, in some cases maybe you could argue for it, but in most cases I don't think it's that deep. Do you know what I mean? Can can all <laughs> cultures be appropriated? As in, I'm not talking about races. I'm talking about all types of culture. So, for example, skate culture. Not really. Skate culture can't really. So then, I mean, you, so then, you, the, you can the you can feel question. some you can feel some type of way in it, yeah. So the, but the skate culture is be who, who decides what cultures can and can't. Yeah, man. I mean, personally, yourself. Do you know what I mean whatever you feel is right? You just That's what I'm saying. With. So then, so then, another person doesn't have the right to be offended. About what? Do you know what I mean? Do you understand? Because we I, both I, have I, different. I get, I get what you mean, yeah. I get what you yeah. mean. Like you're saying, like if you feel it's right for you, come in. Do you know what I mean? We have like, we have two different definitions. So according yeah, you, to my you, definition, I'm fine. I'm co- I'm covered. But according to someone else's definition, I'm like committing yeah, a crime. Do you know what I mean? Exactly. So yeah, that, but that's that's so that's a. We're always that's, gonna have an issue. I don't think there's anything wrong with that because, like, maybe that person, the person that has a different opinion to you, will either say to you, like. From their point of view, that I will educate you, or you will educate them, or you will both disagree and you go about your way. That's what I believe in. Do you know what I mean? Like you got, like. Would you feel you like that's not people, what happens? People, people, people have not, to explain. 
Again, I'm saying, I, 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 but I don't believe in mob culture or anything like that. Do you know what I mean? Another culture, I don't believe in mob culture. You would shouldn't you appropriate feel, mob culture. Would you feel like people would have to explain whatever choices they've made? What do you mean explain? In terms of, in terms of like, so say, so say if someone comes out culture appropriating, I don't know, like, like Asian okay, clothing or whatever. The, the thing is, when you say would culturally you, appropriating, yeah, and then you say explaining, then they're not culturally appropriating. Do you know what I mean? No, no. So okay. start start with uh, so someone took something. No, no, no. Some, some let me let me let me let me let me learn the scenario. Yeah? So yeah, say yeah, if someone no, I'm asking you, would they have to? So if someone came out wearing Asian clothes or whatever. Yeah, like let's yeah. say someone is not Asian. Yeah, South Asian or wh- whatever. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Would you would you or would you expect? Would do you think that pe- that majority of people would expect that person to come out and explain where they got the influence from, or in would t- you? Just, in- or in terms of coming right? out, yeah. no, 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 wait, hold on. Would you be all right with them just sliding, like just, just doing a thing? They're not making no peace. They just, they just put up a post, but they're getting bare love, like, but they ain't making no money off it, yeah. Because so, I, know that the, was like, an argument last week. So let's say, for example, it's just like a white girl wearing a sari and she posts yeah. on the internet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on Twitter and it's on Insta, but bare people are bare people I mean, are liking it. But I'm, there's also I mean, just as much as people. I know why you're saying, saying that. <laughs> when you, when you, when you go to brown weddings, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, but white girls and saris. They're, 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 they're dangerous, fam. They're dangerous. Yeah, so she, she's wearing it at home and she, she took a picture in it. Sorry? She's wearing it at home and she took a picture in it and put it on, on the internet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, so. That's it. You wouldn't, you wouldn't expect. But do you, no, but ask, okay, the other question is, would you think the majority of people would expect her to come out and be like, oh, yeah, like, this is where she got this from? I don't think so. I, I disagree. It, dep- I think, it depends. I, I, it depends think, it, I, think, I think that it white depends on how far it goes. It depends how far it goes. If it goes onto Twitter, then people quote tweeting her would be like, "Oh, where did you get this from? Did you like? Did someone Brown put this on you?" And I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that. I mean, like, again, th- that's another situation where the people quote tweeting are lacking nuance, like, and and not through the girl's fault. Like, it's not the listen. It's not the girl's fault for not not giving nuance. Yeah, it's their fault for getting so uptight about where they don't know the situation. Like, it's not that deep. Do you know what I mean? But why did yeah. she have to? All she did was take a picture. I just said she don't have to, but some people. No, I'm talking about for other people. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Because they. I'm are... not asking you. Because, like, this, because... Is, this is this is the generic. Because obviously the you because because you. Do you know why? It's, it's, it's because I'm about the, gen- the, the 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 general the general like, public or whatever. So like, whoever actually, quote quote actually. tweets here, yeah, whatever, yeah, they they will feel some type of way, because because they don't oh, have. All con- she did was take a picture. Uh, let me tell you then. Okay, go on. Because they lack context, people on Twitter are very like militant in it. Like people like to fight and have a problem with things. So because they lack the context, they add their own context. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And that's what I was saying last week. Like if you don't know the context, always assume the best. Like it's not that deep. Who cares? Just move on. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That's why I love context so much. That's why I love nuance. I hate consistency. <laughs> <laughs> I can see Adam yeah. getting pissed off at me. No, 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 no. Well, and basically, like, obviously, we're not trying to turn this into a part two, in it. But yeah. I think my 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 main point, I I'd like to just highlight my main points in it. Mm. So the first one is before you even get to cultural appropriation is the fact of like loving your culture too much. I think you know there's a limit. Like appreciate your culture, that's fine. Your, I'm talking about your own culture. Um, mm. but when you start to become tribal, I think that's when it becomes silly. Then there's the issue of double standards. So people would call out a certain group for culturally appropriating, but they wouldn't with those with the same definitions and the same circumstances, same context, they wouldn't apply the criticism to another group of people. And I'm gonna say I'm gonna say I'm gonna say I'm gonna be specific and say, say, uh, specific and say that I think white people are disproportionately um accused. more likely to yeah, accused of being of culturally appropriating. Uh, I feel like yeah, it, what did you want to say on that? Let, let AB go first on it. So I feel like it like it, with me and I look with Adza, I don't I, I feel like our argument is rather against the people who police the culture rather than the actual definition. Do you know yeah. what I'm saying? Or if it exists that's fine. We, I think we, no but I didn't say do you think that's fair exist, as an overall as an overall like sort of I, I, brother, I, I, I think the, the way it goes here is like I'm on one side, Adam's on one side, and you're in the middle. You mean? Yeah. Do you mean like literally like geographically like how we are now, but also in terms of the point as well. Like I've Adam like is your argument that it doesn't exist 
it's not an issue at all. Um, my argument is it shouldn't be an issue. No, but that's not a question. Yeah. No, but that's 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 no, but that's, li- that's literally I, what we've been arguing about for the whole time. I don't want to answer a yes or no when I don't agree with either yes or no. So my answer is that it shouldn't be important. an issue. It shouldn't come yeah. to that, yeah. Yeah. And, and my argument and is if, that it is an issue, but it depends on nuance for you and, to decide when it isn't. If we come to a point where it, it is an issue, people have to be consistent because you need to have cons- you need to have definitions and you need to because if you don't have solid definitions, you can't apply a ruling to one person and another person. You need to have something solid that your argument is grounded on so that you can apply it in different contexts. Do you, know, do you understand? Yeah, but so this and is I don't think that you... exists. I don't think that exists at the moment. I don't think people this, have solid is, definitions, which is why is, so. different groups, sorry, which is why different no, no, groups go, are so. disproportionately uh, attacked. So that was the point you made earlier in it. Like some people, it's like the, the two examples are the same. It's just like, the the cultures are different like that so yeah, like for because, example white, white basically people what i'm getting at is because one person's white they're going to get attacked and yeah because the other per- yeah that's but what for, i'm saying f- like personally for me yeah. i don't believe those two examples are exactly the same because of the color of the person do you know what i mean in terms of like for example in england yeah there's a certain power status or like you know before when i was going with the story yeah um yeah with like people saying you're a piece of shit for for telling that story and all that stuff yeah yeah like I don't know how to explain this, but like, there's a there's a power structure. Do you know what I mean? In, in yeah, in I understand world. that. But bro, you know if, if we're in Pakistan and obviously Pakistanis are the majority, and yeah. I still think if if Pakistanis started culturally appropriating white culture in Pakistan, yeah. then you know it, it wouldn't they wouldn't receive the same heat that white people do. That's that's another sticky one as well, yeah. But I, I I agree with the same. Why is, though, why is every every yeah. situation sticky, fam? Because life is sticky, you know. That's how life goes. I don't I don't think ev- everything is ever. Or oh, what people can do is just shut the fuck up and just move on with I, their life. I don't think yeah. I don't think life is ever like black or white. I feel like you there's more mean? important. I feel like there's more it's important it, issues. Yeah, to worry about. yeah. I said this in one of the the things about um. You know what would you tell your younger self? Just focus on yourself, man. Like why are you worrying about what other people are doing? Honestly, mm, I, it, like I gotta I got disagree in it. But obviously, it, different things are different important to different people in it. Like you were saying before, yeah. you wouldn't you wouldn't think you wouldn't say that culture is something that you should hold too important to yourself. But yeah. personally, for me, like I, I think I, I said this in another episode as well. Like this year, not having to like worry about outside influences and everything, and also yeah. being on the internet a lot, is a year that I've like kind of reconnected with my South Asian culture. I think quite a lot, or learned about my own history and all those yeah. things. And I'm I'm very happy about that. Do you know what I mean? Because there's yeah. certain situations, like for example, yeah, AB, me and you spoke about this one time, like in an early episode. Yeah, when we think of British history, yeah, we think there is no place for South Asians in British history. Like we have, like we would grow up thinking there was we had no influence in this in this country. There is we don't exist basically in this country. But then when you look into it, like yesterday I was watching a doc. I was just on YouTube watching like a documentary about. Um, I think you might have saw it in my story. Yeah, like these. Um, racial attacks on Bengalis in East London and like in my head I'm thinking when I was growing up as a kid I would think to myself I learned oh, about a uni actually you know yeah and I would, I would and think the to literature myself, that came from it yeah and I would think to myself oh East London Bengalis they're those type of Bengalis and I'm, I'm kind of not embarrassed to say it but it's, it's it's something that people still think to this day in it in, in terms of yeah. Bengalis like for example <laughs> Pakistanis might think to themselves oh those Bradford Pakistanis you know what I mean like there's a certain stigma there did you know everyone I mean? notice how Kyojin didn't involve me in that South Asian experience? When the, what? You, you no, because no, me and him no, 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 me, 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 yeah, 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 I, I, I was thinking, did <laughs> no, I fuck up? Did I fuck up? <laughs> I was going to say, yeah. I yeah. don't want people to think that I'm some like uncultured coconut. I feel like yeah. I'm like way more connected to my Asian side than I am to my white side. I think yeah. I've, I've said this before. Like I am I'm much, much, much closer to my Asian side. But yeah. I still hold these views. Yeah. But I, yeah, I just think like it's the sometimes we're told that our culture isn't that important because it's like culture er, 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 erasure is that a word? Erasion. Er, erasure, yeah. erasure. Like you, you, like it's 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 a sticky one because if you don't, obviously, I don't know like what to what extent you're saying is important or not. Yeah, I'm sure you mean like yeah. you should hold it important in in certain terms and yeah. like embrace your yeah. culture and everything. But I think. That's what I'm saying. I, I love my culture. Like it's important to me, but it's like I, I, it's really hard to put into words. Um, no, but let, let me let me say this though. Yeah, yeah I feel yeah, like the reason why my culture is is even more important to me now 
is because it hasn't been in the past or like it's 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 been something where you've not been allowed to embrace obviously i'm not saying if someone physically hold me down and say you can't you can't like i don't know like cricket or something in it but i used to think mm. cricket was dead and it was like i used to think that that's that's a freshy thing i'm not the i'm not that kind of south asian where i would like yeah. cricket and obviously i'm not saying if you don't like cricket it's not racist it's, that's it's funny not. you know because i used to love cricket <laughs> <laughs> i saw you in the cricket team yeah it was yeah yeah yeah, but do you get what I mean? Like, it's, it's something where I feel like, as a kid, uh, like obviously football's sick. That's why I like it. Yeah. But you'd also get those like when you walk when you walk in the field and people are like, oh, catch it, six, uh, Indian, yeah. blah, blah blah, all that stuff. Yeah, there's a certain Cric- there's a certain English mentality sport, that that builds up in your head, though. Do you know what I mean? Especially when living when you live in London. Do you know what I mean, um, it's an but, English sport. Yeah, it is yeah. yeah. But obviously the context of things changes. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, in course. London, people don't see it as an English sport anymore. They see it as like a, a freshy yeah. sport, if anything. And mm-hmm. because it's been something like culture has been something that I haven't been able to practice or embrace properly, that's why it's more important to me now, if that makes sense. You appreciate it more. Did yeah. you, wait, you, you, are you saying that you, you felt like you could have practiced it properly because of certain what aspects people, of what, what social, people, social pressures, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, certain aspects yeah. of it. Do you know what I mean? Like, for example, yeah. again, like, like me and Adzia, I remember like last year or two years ago, actually on this day, a, a Snapchat story came of us together at Knightsbridge. Yeah, um, I remember we were, we were listening to like, um, what's that, DJ Kangna and shit like that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 Punj- yeah, yeah. Punjabi and Brangra. When I was Dr. a kid, Zeus. yeah, Dr. yeah, when, when I was yeah. a kid, yeah, those are the songs where I would think to myself, I'm not that kind of South Asian. That's yeah. them freshies listen to that, innit? So again, that's something. I'm not saying I would uh, like if a white guy or, or a black guy was listening to that music, I would feel some type of way. But it's something I hold dear to myself now because I can embrace that side now that I'm I'm not self conscious anymore. It's weird. I I don't recognize that in myself, you know. Like, yeah. I feel like, yeah, I I didn't have that same experience. Did you go real green? Yeah. There's Indians there. That's why. Yeah, that's true. You're Indian. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's very true. I went I went Kingsbury green, so there was like more of a mix in it. So you'd have to do mm-hmm. what everyone was doing yeah that's true yeah but that's that's only my personal story in it like as you were saying before mm. you know when you said focus on yourself when i yeah. say nuance here i also mean that like stop taking concepts that can be applied wide and worrying about it too much wherever like i only believe in like i think with concepts that i only believe in addressing it in your day-to-day if someone on the internet is doing something yeah you're not there again it's the same thing like with like dawah yeah i don't believe in preaching to someone over the internet where you don't know their whole situation obviously in some cases yeah. you can but i would only preach to people or i'm not preaching it but i would only advise people in situations where i have the right intentions for them do you know what i mean yeah like you guys I, are my boys and yeah. i would i know things about you and i and i not live with you but i interact with you on like a, on a yeah on a level in it so then i would talk if i don't have the right intention of someone i would never speak on anything yeah and i would say like after obviously after the debate that we had last week and and this week like i understand i still do understand like your position i feel like your position is more um not calling out people but more just educating people on like um so your base yours is basically about education just being aware of it Yeah. Yeah. yeah making sure people are yeah. making yeah. sure people are aware yeah i don't feel like that's like the the, the i don't feel like that's what the general like consensus y- yeah is. that's that's not reflective of this is the this wider is, definition it's pos- obviously, 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 for the but obviously we can only public. speak we can we can only speak for ourselves in it but i'm just saying should we, should we check man, other people's Kirjan, Kirjan really spoke for my for himself isn't it yeah from yeah. this uh, this legit has turned into a part two you know yeah. we, also, this, <laughs> i feel like this was a bit more controlled fam we just got one take out of the way and that's it and we i don't think we got all of that take anyway <laughs> let me summarize off our friends uh take here from what i can remember now. so again yeah. it was it was stuff like um putting other people onto other cultures is a good thing um that's mm-hmm. what she was saying um and nobody and again as she uh, kind of like us she was saying like she don't agree with mob mob mentality in it like if yeah. someone is doing something wrong by your standards you don't really have the right to go and attack them do you know what I mean? yeah. because 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 again it's, it's such a 
the concept is such a nuanced thing. I, 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 know it. I was going to say, I know you want to say it. <laughs> I see. It's, I don't know what other words to use. I, 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 I bet in his head, he's like, don't say it, don't say it, don't say it. Because yeah, I, was, I, was, I think what he's... Words, I, what words can you say? I was like, shall I say sticky? Should I say techy? Should I say nuanced? I don't know. I don't know. Um, nuanced yeah. synonyms. Let's have a look. It, are there synonyms for it? I'm going to have a look now. What? Um, difference, distinction, <laughs> subtlety, nicety, hint, refinement. Oh, subtleties, I like that. Yeah, use refinement. I think that's refinement. Isn't that sugar yeah. fam? <laughs> um, let me move on to the next section because I feel like we spent a lot of our time yeah. on that topic. We basically did yeah. like a whole episode on that now. Uh, someone said it is an issue because uh, when say a POC person of color wears something has certain features we get ridiculed uh, ridiculed for it um, but when a white person or someone not from a certain culture does it it's you amazing see, they, do and wait, they wait, instantly listen. said white person they no, instantly I, said white person when there's, a reason, there's a reason for that though there's a reason for that though no. uh, and they said for example Asians have bushy eyebrows um, things like monobrows um, no one's going to call you appropriate monobrows no, but people do though. There's a lot of like uh, models and stuff that use like, and they're they're labeled as like unique, and they get, do you know what I mean, uh, okay. opportunities because of that. Uh, cornrows, hairstyles, clothing, that they were punished for isn't right. Uh, so, cultural appropriation is an issue. On the other side of it, people embracing culture is a different thing. Like a white person wearing sari, white girls at weddings. Jacket. I'll see the chef That's the thing though. Stop, Kojin was an argument. He out, was an man. argument against um, appreciating culture. Who? Yeah. No, the, the argument was not about appreciation. Yeah. Yeah. No, but my, mine isn't either though. Yeah. No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, somebody said, uh, as a person of color, rejecting cultural appropriation is a form of internalized racism. So, Adam, I hate to break it to you, but. Get out of here, man! It's it's it's, it's your white side fighting against it. It's your white up, side man. fighting against your your brown side. What a stupid comment! There's a battle. There's a battle in his body right now. Some all the sweet that should be the wallet of the week. That was the no, dumbest but, comment on here. No, but I agree with him. What? You think I got internalized racism? Yeah, I feel like your white side is in the inside. Yeah, you see, like now, joke, I'll joke, I'll joke. <laughs> I was gonna say, I hardly have a white side. No, no, no. I'm no, half no. white, but I just cut out the whole... <laughs> again. <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm half white in terms yeah. of my ancestry, yeah. yeah. But I have not had a white upbringing. My mum's mm. Muslim. Yeah. I've had a very Muslim Asian upbringing. I hardly know. I know Ooh, three you, people, you, four you people from there, my bro. white family. What? You fucked up there. What? You said I hardly had a white upbringing. Now, by the way, I agree yeah. with you. I don't. I don't think you had a very white upbringing. Yeah. From what I've seen in it, but you said I've had. A, I haven't had a very white upbringing because my mom's Muslim, but Muslims can be white as well, you know. No, no, no. What I'm saying is, because white culture doesn't, it tends not to align with Muslim culture. Mm. Yeah. What yeah, we would like, what white, we would white, define British, as white culture. British culture. British culture. Yeah. But Muslim yeah. and Pakistani so Islamic culture and Pakistani culture kind of do align because obviously Pakistan is a Muslim country so yeah. my upbringing mm. my family life is fully Pakistani fully Muslim do you know what I mean I know four people from a white family I, I when people ask me where I'm from I don't consider myself white mm. even though ancestrally I am white yeah. half I, I, that's why I don't agree with that comment man not at all Wait, I think that's an out. insult. You, I think that's take, an insult. You're taking take, it as a personal attack. From... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've taken that very badly. I don't, I don't think they meant it as a personal attack. Like... Oh, I'm not happy with that. <laughs> I'm not happy with that at all. I'm going to have to re- release the name to you after this. <laughs> yeah. I want to I know. I'm going to pull up. No, I'm joking. Yeah. I think you took that as a personal attack. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's just... It's a... It's a cop out. It's a way of just, like dismissing the whole conversation that we had oh internalized racism why no, but that doesn't exist though so you don't so you don't have to engage do you think it exists in me no 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 I'm, I'm just, that's what i'm saying in, no as in like i was saying the concept of internalized is uh, internalized racism exists we saw it earlier when i didn't like cricket yeah but that's what i'm saying when he said well she i don't know who it was when they said internalized racism um yeah. plays a part in rejecting cultural appropriation as a concept Mm. Are you saying that as a whole? Because then you'd say anyone that rejects cultural appropriation has internalized racism. That's not my point. 
I don't agree that that's if I don't agree at all. AB, what do you think? Well, I just joined, but I don't know what, this, what you guys are talking about. I left the game. I'm not right? happy, AB. I'm not happy. Why, fam? Like, I, wife, I'm man. having a he very might, bad day. He's my said I'm racist. <laughs> to himself. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. They, 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 said, they said I have internalized racism. They didn't, just to be clear, yeah, no one you. like the comment does not name drop all the mouth. I don't know who this person is, man. Basically, it says, as a person of color, reject- listen to the statement first. Man. It says, as a person of color, rejecting cultural appropriation is a form of internalized racism. So, talking about you as well, AB, by the way. Who's so this? dumb? Yeah, I'll, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you after the pod. Next point, someone said, only when the adopted cultural element is disrespected or taken credit for by another culture. I can, so you know when people use Islamic things for non-Islamic uses, do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like putting on hats and shit. It's, I don't know, it's a bit of a tricky pray one. A mat, prayer mat says rug. It's a bit of a tricky oh, one. Oh yeah, I isn't that. A, in, in a prayer mat just, a, at the end of the day, like, I, I, I don't know, I don't know yeah, how to say this. I don't agree. You know, people like hold prayer mats as a holy thing. It's not really. At the end of the day, it's just it's a place you pray because you choose to pray on it. Like yeah, you could pray anywhere, you could pray on your own carpet. Yeah, it's you know just a mean? clean place to pray, but mm. it's not a holy thing. Yeah. So when I see that, when I see people say no, like, but calling a prayer mat, calling a prayer mat a rug is 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 low key a vibe though. If 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 it has like a picture a of the if it has a picture of the carpet or something, then I would feel some type of way because that's that's disrespectful, isn't it? Yeah. But if it's got a pattern on it and it's the same that's size and shape that's as that's a prayer mat, yeah. No, but again, again, yeah. Like, uh, we take a take a phone for us, for example, yeah. If let's say, for example, we call it prayer clothes, yeah, or you call it namaz clothes in South Asian culture, yeah. If somebody calls it a, like a robe, I mean, at the end of the day, it is literally a piece of clothing that you you use personally for a specific thing. But in terms of Islam, the the clothing doesn't hold weight, if that makes sense. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Like with, with the rug here, yeah, with the with the prayer mat, it is it's, at the end of the day, it's a, it's, a, it's a mat and you use it as a prayer mat. But as long as it's not got any offensive like patterns or anything, why can't people use a rug that's the same size but is it used for as anything a rug? Else? Yeah. Is it used for anything else? Like? What, yeah. Like what? Clearly a rug. What is, what is a prayer what do you What do you use? It? <laughs> huh? A rug, it seems. I think that's a viral, I can't lie. <clears throat> it depends I'm not saying it, it should be held. It, I, don't, I don't feel like I'm not saying it should be held as a holy sort of like object, but I feel like calling a prayer mat a rug is is, is slightly a value, man. I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but I agree with ads on this one, man. Because I feel like at the end of the day, yeah, what <laughs> makes it what what makes it a prayer mat? The context, isn't it? It's just how you, you use it is you you pray. I pray on my jacket sometimes. It's not a prayer jacket. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But what also, else is a prayer mat so, used for? So, Thobes are Arab culture, bro. Yeah, like it's not. It's I get why people think it's Islamic culture, yeah. because there's like the Arab culture is the most like loud and proud in in terms of Islam in it. But what they actually used to wear back in the day was closer to Pakistani clothes. It was like yeah. shawal kameez. Jeez, that's facts. Or yeah, uh, it's yeah. actually closer to Kurdish clothing. Kurdish clothing, yeah. It's like Jeez. baggy oh, trousers the, and the like long, a long thing and the and the, and the, the, the leggings thing. Yeah, trousers and and like a top that goes up to your like your thighs. Yeah, so that's like for example, you know, when people obviously the the, the sunnahs of the prophet in it, but again, yeah. there's like different cultures in different places of the world where mm. like I think with that, like it's a prayer mat because you pray on it, but in yeah. somebody else's house, it's just a mat. As long as it doesn't have like the, uh, like a pattern of the carbo or anything like that. How did we get onto this? I don't even remember. Uh. Oh, if he's being dis so some the person's the take was um, only when the adopted cultural element is being disrespected or taken credit for by a culture. And I was I was saying like for example like I don't know if it was some did somebody like comment on your one saying like if someone put uh, like Allah's name on Nike shoes or something. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. Like I, I don't I don't think that's true like yet. The- but for example, that would be a, that would be disrespectful. Yeah. Yeah. But moving on, <laughs> uh, that was that was it for those takes. And the the poll was is cultural uh, appropriation an issue? It was eighty one percent yes and nineteen percent no. But like, do you have any responses? Yeah, most people were just cussing me. 
Yeah. <laughs> and that's why I spoke to that's why I spoke to MH yeah about this year. I was like, bro, what the hell? <laughs> so so uh, A B said Kyojin was wrong and he eat shit, even though he agreed with me like two on one and a half points. <laughs> uh, three. MH said, G can't lie, Kyojin was waffling bears. I know I, I, I'm waffling, what can I do next? It just happens. Uh <laughs> my cousin said she said my real name, she said it. It's a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Someone said, AB, AB agreed with Kyojin most of the time, but still argued with him for the vibe. Yeah. yeah it's because boys like that. Do you know what I mean? It's, I yeah. hear that, yeah. Me, yeah, me, me, listen, us man can argue, fam. Someone, <laughs> someone said it in the response, yeah. So this is their response. Someone said, picking up a language is the same as picking up a hair texture. AB. Picking up a what? Wait, what? So no, as in, they're they're saying that someone on the podcast said this. Mm-hmm. Is the same as what? Picking up a language is the same as picking up a hair texture. You said that, innit? A B said that. A B said no, as in no, you you yeah. sending that thing, innit? No, no, no. It wasn't. It wasn't, it wasn't a hair texture. It was a hairstyle. <laughs> hairstyle. Yeah, yeah. He he was like it was what's called. It was when A B said, um, if you pick up like Punjabi words or like a London London slang, yeah, it's yeah. the same as. You can naturally pick up braids in your hair. Those are two very different things. No, bro, that's why <laughs> nobody argued that you could pick up braids naturally. They just come out of nowhere. They pop yeah, up. Yeah, but your you, head. you no. but you pick up language naturally. That's exactly. So they're two yeah. different situations and two, two different ideas. Ah man, listen, AB. He, he, well, like, isn't, he, isn't, isn't he's arguing with me so much for the vibe here that he's covering my face and leaving his face uncovered. In, in oh, shut up, man. Isn't isn't the premise of the thing that both both sort of thing can be influenced by external factors? No, no, not not to the same degree. But can it though? That's that's what not, I'm saying. Not to the same, not to the same degree. Again, you guys are looking at things. It's language. So you're saying that language extreme. is more easier is is more easily influenced than so, yeah, someone. Yeah, it's, it's way easier to pick up. But it can be still be influenced. What? Your hair. Yeah, but to a much harder degree. But the fact is that it still can. Not to, not in the same way, not in the same degree. Um, what's good? And then we go to the the last the last poll was a bit f- just for fun in it. It was where's it gone? Oh, still on our story, I think. Oh, was it the consistency versus nuance? Consistency versus <laughs> nuance. Uh, do you want to hear the the votes? How what it yeah. was? Forty percent consistency. Sixty oh. percent nuance, but the thing is, yeah, I don't get how you can argue consistency over nuance anyway. Like, do you know I, why? I don't, wanna, I don't wanna restart this episode at the end of it. Yeah, do you know but, why? Go on. Because philosophically, if you're making an argument, it needs to be based on something solid. Mm. You can't have you can't have like floppy foundations. So you need to be consistent in your foundations, which is what I was arguing, and then you yeah. can make your arguments from there. So the consistency doesn't need to be in how you apply it. The consistency needs to be in the foundation. But we're talking about the application, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah but you weren't being consistent in your in the foundation. But we're talking you about the application. In the, no, we, were, but, we were arguing the application at a certain point. Yeah, but we also we also mentioned like the the, the foundations and the definitions. And if you're not consistent in the definitions, then the application is it, it can go wild. Do you know what I mean? It's a, it's, cultural appropriation is a, like a has a baby definition in it. That it changes. But I, I I agree that yeah. the application you need nuance. Yeah, but for the Wait, for the def- so for the if, 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 if for, for the, the application, basis, yeah, bro. If for the, the, if for the application, the yeah, go on. No, but let me just say something. If for the application, you nuance, yeah. Why were you throwing different situations for me to apply cultural appropriation last week? That's all you were doing for the to last test, half an hour, bro. No, it was to test your application, your, your foundations. It was to test your no, foundations, was, and if if you're being consistent in your definitions, those were literally all like times where I think can I apply them? Can I not apply them? Yeah, I, I stand by the consistency point. Uh, so your final remark is that the foundations need to be philosoph- uh, philosophically foundations yeah. need to have consistency to make an argument you need a strong foundation and then you move on from there and that's I think we were probably At like when I said you, when I said you need to be consistent you thought I was, I was saying you need to be consistent on how you apply it no I was saying you need to be consistent on the definitions first and then you go on to apply it mm. I don't th- yeah I don't think you can be consistent on Cultural appropriation because it's such a new thing, or oh, relatively new. Um, and for all the people that voted consistency, let me address you for a quick second. Minute, yeah, <laughs> yeah. The whole, my whole argument last week, when, you know, when we started that whole debate about cultural appropriation, yeah, the argument I was making is that people on Twitter 
get too offended at things because they don't apply nuance. Do you know what I mean? That's literally the argument that we started on. And then it flipped around somehow. No, but anyway, p- these, these people need to realize you need to apply new, like life is so nuanced. I agree with you. I agree with you. <laughs> I know, I know. Can I make a hoodie? I'm addressing the people in it. I'm addressing the people yeah, in yeah, it. Stop yeah. making your life devoid of nuance when it's so full of nuance. Do you know what I mean? Your thinking is so devoid of nuance, but life is full of nuance. You know, like me and Abe, you can live next door to each other and have completely different lives. You know what I mean? I know you agree with yeah. me. I'm just I'm speaking to the, the people yeah. at home who think you have to be consistent with everything and not think of any nuance. You you might not. I'm just again it's just conjecture that just take it out of my hands on someone. <laughs> why are you ang- why are you angry, huh? I'm not angry. I'm not angry. <laughs> I'm, not angry. I'm, just, I'm just I'm just trying to I'm trying to get in my Alex, what's that guy? The guy who gets angry, the fat guy. Alex Jones. Yeah, I'm Alex trying to get my Jones, Alex Jones yeah. back in it. I need to come on here like I no Stephen A. Smith, I am having a very bad day. I'm not happy. <laughs> With wolves playing in the background. <laughs> do, AB, do the do the 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 sound effects from wolves. The what? You know that Kanye West song wolves. Oh, uh, um. How do you go? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you you do it, yeah. No, I'll I'll do the run. Go on, go on. Both of you drop it. The the sound effects. I don't know what you're talking about, bro. Because oh, I. I Master, <laughs> I, can't, I can't do it, man. I'm having a very bad day. <laughs> <laughs> no, Last name. Anyway, <laughs> we're, we're, we're waffling. That right was now. awful. That was awful. <laughs> <laughs> MH is right. We're waffling too much. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Well, it was a good episode. We found out that I'm, I'm AB's best friend. You're not my best friend. Bro, let's I not go there, man. I, I think we should edit that whole section out. And <laughs> as, as, as doesn't know him at all. Um, Listen, this just thing. shows that AB needs to take me out more, innit? I'll take you out, man. We need to go man, out for more meals. Up. Speaking of taking out, apparently lockdown has been extended till July. Good, because I'm, I'm sick and tired of seeing your ugly face, bro. Uh, You're going to see it every week anyway, you prick. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good episode. Um, I feel like we found out that I'm AB's best friend. You know, I got, I got 9.5 out of 13, you know, and that's that's pretty good considering I know this guy for like what two weeks, you know? Yeah. Just just wait for my episode in it. We'll see how uh, we'll, we'll see how high you score. I feel like I would win that one as well, you know. All right, AB, I'm gonna tailor the questions for you, don't worry. Ask me like ask me like questions that are what road do you live in and like? <laughs> I, I know that. You know you know, yeah, I was all those practical prat- like I was practically his neighbour for like four yeah. years. Yeah. That's so funny. Yeah. And now I'm practically his neighbor. No, you're not. I live closest like. to him. Okay, get out of here. Anyway, <laughs> that sounded creepy. You know when it when wait, it comes who, who, who can wait? Oh, my name. I thought you meant AB's name. Yeah. When it when it comes to my episode, yeah, you know who I'm gonna tailor the my questions for. Oh. Laska, and he's not even on the episode. <laughs> <laughs> Inshallah, he comes back soon. I miss him. I'm gonna lie. Anyway. So yeah, we found out that I'm AB's best friend. Um, I know him better than he knows himself because you know F- Friday is one of his favorite movies. Oh, shut up, man. Um, then after that little quiz, we, you know, we went through your takes from last week. There were some good ones. Some of you lack critical thinking, and I feel like that's why you're so happy in life. You know, um, <laughs> people who with, I'm joking, I'm joking. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> but sometimes, sometimes I do think that you know not. Titans, not about you guys at home. Yeah. Sometimes when I'm scrolling for the internet, yeah, and I see some dumb takes, yeah, I just think to myself, you seem like you're so happy in life because you're so dumb. Mm. I mean, I feel like if if you have you seen that I mean where it's like if these if these kids could read, they'd be very upset. <laughs> if I like I if I liked critical thinking skills, I would I would be very happy in life. You know? Yeah, it's true. And um some of you are very happy at home. No joke, I'm joking. I need to stop. <laughs> I need to stop. Like, I'm not, guys. I'm not cussing. You do not come in for the followers, man. Taken out. <laughs> it'll, it'll be in the audio part. I take shots and I leave them in. Anyway, so yeah, um, I I won all the polls today. You know, to con- nuance one over consistency. Like massive, massive thank you to everyone who sent in their takes. It was a good. I think this is our longest Titan take ever. Um, yeah. We spent like what half an hour debating one take. 
So if you guys want to hear more, definitely oh. send us more takes because we love chatting shit about them. You know, I got an idea, guys. If you want to see a, um, if you want to see an episode where we read out hate comments, just keep sending us hate. I want to do yes. an episode one day where we yeah, like, yeah, yeah, read yeah, out yeah, hate yeah. comments. Send a, tell us that um, AB's beard don't connect. Just send any comments like that. I got the best beard here. No, you don't. Yeah, mine, fact, mine doesn't connect. That's why I wear the hood. Mine doesn't connect. You don't have a beard. Because I take it off. If I grew my shit out, I'll be like so Bin Laden, fam. So that's like, that's like, that's like me saying, yeah. If I punch your mum. I'm joking, I'm joking. But yeah. Oh yeah, guys, my white mum, my white mum has culturally appropriated Pakistani culture. She made biryani today. Oh, shit. Just want to put it out there. Yeah. I'm I'm just going on Twitter real quick. Sounds like internal racism to me. (laughs) I'm not involved. (laughs) Someone's saying something funny, but not that problematic, fam. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, but yeah, man. I hope you guys um, send us in all your takes and shit. Um, we'll put up a question for this week. If I pissed you off, if I pi- if I pissed you off, I am sorry. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying. To, I'm trying to. I need. I need to be the good guy now. I don't. You see, I don't want to get no you hate. You see that man. growth? You see that growth? Last week he ended on. If I piss you off, suck your mom. <laughs> It's because you got it's because you got drawn out like <laughs> he got scared. Bro, he's killed you, man. He's he's uh he's making me a better man. The man who's making me a better man, fam. That's cute, man. Yeah, man. So I, I appreciate you guys. I appreciate all the Titans at home that's that's listening. Please continue to support. Uh, we're working very hard for you, man. Trust me, bro. Even ads, ads yeah, joining the landlord, landlord literally coming in, do like do whatever you can. Um. Last got fucking traveling. That came. He came here like the first few episodes. You get me? All right, everyone else. Er, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's weird? Yeah, I don't. I don't even know if he's alive. You know, because he don't like. He don't even read the messages, bro. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Lie. It's gonna sound very like um. What's it called? Uh, still Christian. It. Sometimes I check whether he's read our messages in the group chat. You know, so I miss him that much. You know, that's good. If you're listening to this secretly, I miss you, bro. I miss you too, man. Yeah, I haven't I haven't yet experienced a podcast with him. So, no, as, I mean, as a friend, yeah, obviously, no, not just the podcast. I mean, like, nah, the pod, pod, podcast is life. Okay. Wow, wow. That's the comeback. But yeah, hashtag, yeah, hashtag guys, come back, Glasgow. I lie. What was I saying? I feel like a piece of my heart is missing. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that- that was a messy ending.